everybody hears? Uh, yes, right now. Oh, excellent. In that case, everybody should know that Crystal is so fucking adorable. Ah. Just so cute. Like, have you seen Crystal? Have you seen that adorable, that adorable face? Wow. <laughs> oh no, Bri, Bri, I know I've been live this whole time, but but Crystal wasn't. Oh yeah, you were alive. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be holding ah. you up. Ah. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's all good. We're still basically on time. <clears throat> Original Sin Two. Going to the mainland. Hang it out. I wonder. Fox says that he would totally princess carry Crystal. What? What? Ah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I would cuddle Crystal and just gently stroke their hair. Just so nice and soft. You're making me blush. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I'm I'm good to go. I'm good to go. She leans forward and in Losa might be learning something about what's inside of her. How long has it been possessing you? Mm. Well, shite. Listen to me, this isn't good. Whatever's inside you, it's smart and it's strong. Probably smarter and stronger than you. Oof. I suspicions but I'll need to see more of you before I'm certain Ooh -woo? luckily for me you're rather easy on the eyes Ooh -woo? <laughs> <laughs> no, amongst of corpses. I'm only bad when the occasion calls for it darling <laughs> she looks you slowly from helm to boot this might be an interesting boat ride after all. Okay, yeah. then. <laughs> Show me what you learned from that other soul-stealing miscreant who's taken an interest in you. Ah, like that. Right, hold on, then. She takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to do the same to her. She closes her eyes, and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hand. I don't. Now go on. Perfect. Okay, this is the blessed thing. Oh, God mm -hmm. woken. I'm happy. Oh, how unbecoming. Come then, we set sail, your destiny awaits, etc. You'll have to ask the Meister about that. Melody beckons you. After you, darling. Any special oh, conversations that the others would have, or? Not likely. Uh, well, let's see if Sabeel has a special conversation. Oh, true, because I have like a written character instead of a generic. Well, well, Correct. Well, quite Correct. the mess you've made here. I'm Malady, and you're. She steps forward. That's when, just like every other NPC we've met, you kill her. <laughs> you had something to do with the master. <laughs> you did. Piercing the lobe with a needle sharp fang. She releases you and grins. Running tongue over teeth. God woken. God woken. Um. I feel like this is Wheel's character. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Do it. Yeah, yeah. This, this is uh, like this isn't what I would do, but this is what Sabiel would do. <laughs> <laughs> do promise me you'll try. Though I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a god woken after all. The reason some of us get out of bed each morning. What do you make of that? Um. Being at the Ooh. tip of people's tongues? Ooh. Okay. It's, I, don't, I don't think it's meant to be uh, a sexual phrasing, but it definitely can be taken that. Well, it's a no, but we're a bunch of dirty perverts. <laughs> ah, of course. Too important to feel important. Very good. No, no, no. You see, Sabeel's situation is different than what you think Sabeel's situation is. <laughs> yeah, it's not arrogance when people are actually worried about whether or not you'll stab them. Yeah. Or, or like, uh, Sabeel's name was on the tip of their tongue previously because... 
uh, she was like a slave to them and they would yeah. call her name on like, you know, the, in that sense is the other way I was thinking. Of yeah, it, you know? yeah, that too. One of us is a pimp and I have tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, I will have to remove the, a gold tooth and put in one of these other ones. <laughs> I do have she a tooth in my pocket. Closely, a knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? Um... Taught you how to grant blessings. Like I don't like this guy, but I'm gonna say that. Go yeah. <clears throat> Go on then. Show me what he taught you. Um, I need source. Like that. She takes I love that she's just handing out source. Yeah. She closes her eyes, and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hands into your body. So uh, why she looks so surprised? I don't. Now go on. <laughs> Um, we've all been casting it on her, but what if we cast it on ourselves? I I did cast it on myself. Oh, you did? Okay. I. It for her it was kind of prickly, prickly, but well, like. Well, Fox Malady, it's not actually an elf. So that. She's she's not human. <laughs> she's not an elf. <laughs> I'm happy. Come on, okay. we set sail, your destiny awaits, etc. Um and that's Melody beckons you to the boat. Time to go? Yep, time to go. To you, darling. you will not be able to return again. Your open quest will be closed and archived. So we've done all the quests, correct? As far as I know, yeah, that's that's Gotta everything we can do here. Uh there are some that should still be open because, like, they continue from act to act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, I still got the thing for the ring. The for which ring? Uh, the cursed ring. The one that gets tighter. The Brachus one? The one from Trump Doy. Yeah, the Brachus is for band. Yeah. <clears throat> band of Brachus. Just seeing when we can take care of it. still have that? I thought you sold yeah, it off. I might have. Think. Do I want to run over and purchase Think. it back? Maybe we could. I don't remember who I sold it to is the thing, in which case, like, they could be waiting on the boat, or it could be Gratiana. Hmm. It's not to remove the curse, it. simply travel to Mordor, then throw it in, into Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. I, I think, let, yeah, I agree with yeah. this, Anki. Let, let's just go. We're, just we're go. Fine. Board the boat. Can we, hold on, Fox asks, can nope. we cast Bless on things? Like, could we turn a water barrel into a barrel of Blessing? I... Can we? Yes, we can. Yep. Oh. Oh, shit. We could... We gotta do that at some point. We gotta turn a water barrel into a into a barrel of blessed water. You can. I think you can do that from uh, like a crafting menu. You just need high. Oh, you need high quality life essence and a barrel of mm. water. Yeah. No, I just want to cast bless on a barrel of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be easier. Yeah. Just but uh, we we should we should wait until the second act. Like we could do that right now, but we we should. Keep, we should keep going. Yeah. Continue. Woken. <clears throat> Wait till she finds out. Okay. Oh, right. Salty water mists your face. <laughs> your skin prickles in bright, warm sunlight. The boat bobs I am very persuasive. The water I'm the most silver tongued bastard of that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And. Right. Ready. Ready. Level up. And level up. <laughs> Tired level but up. victorious, <laughs> the party made for the Lady Vengeance. Oh, hey, it's the lady the that we killed, the old lady. Mm -hmm. They arrived as sorcerers. Pretty sure I tore her face off. They left yep, you did. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Blood dripping or down. At least 
on the shoulders of one of them. Or maybe that's ink. Nah, it's drool. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, I'm so tired of this story. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I mean, I could have said it was chicken grease. <laughs> it could have been that. Hmm, I have a thought. A light sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Hmm. I'll be damned if I ever set foot on that island again. Don't care who I have to bury. Freedom. Let the Divine Order try and take it again. A hard-fought freedom, sure. But if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. <laughs> okay, Sabeel. Yeah. I, I misread that as well, but like I still think that was the better of the two options. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. Perhaps. Sorry, okay. all the corpses. Level up time. Oh yeah, that's um, too. Well, also a conversation with Sir Laura. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to care what that chip <laughs> Grotesque. <laughs> A floating nest, surrounded on all <laughs> sides by salt water, pure poison to a tree's root. The great acorn could never reach us out here. Quercus. Yes, of course we'll continue our research, Quercus. We're not monsters. Still, I must admit, you were right about the shield. It proved to be more than adequate. Bow to the squirrel. He's very welcome. No. Oh. <clears throat> yes, it... Seems our shield is still here. <laughs> How does something so large and ungainly sneak up on a person? You give Sir Laura? So much credit, Quercus. I think the salty air has addled your mind. It has certainly been used. <laughs> How am I so quiet? I'm a rattling bag of bones. Surprisingly <laughs> attractive. <laughs> what? That that Sorry, moment when an undead cat thinks we're attractive. <laughs> No, Everything no, thinks we no we're attractive. <laughs> we may be safe, but the world is not. Come, we must return to our research. 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 Level up time. Take Memories for more spell slots, right? Yeah. yeah. One point equals one slot. Okay. Two points it is then. <laughs> Put another point in the Geomancer because I currently have seven in Pyrokinetic. I might be getting to the point where I need to start having like multiple pages of abilities. Mm. Oh, hey, one of the dwarves that that like so th there's some bits in this that I don't mind. Like when people so. Let me sort my thoughts here. There's a trope in video games where, oh, you just saved a bunch of people? They're all dead now that they're not useful to the story. Um, here, though, I don't mind it as much because, like, these guys had a big battle trying to secure this boat. Of course, a couple of them are probably going to be dead. Yeah. Cloud and Mattis are both dead. I believe both of those were people that uh, that you healed. Yeah, yeah, oh. I remember him. Oh, and conversation. Oh, conversation. Where? Uh, on me, Malady, and Gareth. I'm... Okay. Here, I'll just, just click, click on you. Yeah, just double click. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face and so-and-so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. I'm with Gareth here. <laughs> yeah, like, give him, give him a service. I'm I'm half and half. Get the boat moving, then have a service. Yeah. Too many. One too few, actually. 
Alexander. He's alive. Yeah, you know, the bishop that we killed. He's yeah. still alive. Huh. Apparently, you didn't hit hard enough. He's in the oh, hole. Oh, like this guy. Unconscious, but alive. Huh. Okay. Question him. Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only Godwoken worthy of ascending. As hmm. far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. <laughs> yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. Hmm. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Say you've never known a ship to speak in the first place. This is barbarous magic. Expedient magic, actually. The ship is made of live wood. It has the spirit of an elven ancestor tree mm. within it. It seems Dallas has found a way to bind that spirit to her. I wonder if I could talk with the spirit. Can control it, unless mm. we can find a way to break the bond. The seekers, the survivors of us, mm. have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place mm. is laced with dark magic. Mm. These seekers have such a limited skill set. We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. Yeah. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. I kind of like to feel useful, don't they? Smile and say you're still waiting to find out what she does other than standing around being smug. Yeah. You'll never have to find out. <sighs> nope, conversation, conversation. Conversation, um, where, ba, 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 over here. Gather, gather up over here, quick. Gathering. Fox, come on! Oh no, Fox doesn't have the exclamation mark. Well, hopefully Fox will be drawn in. The ship creaks. Okay, yes. good. Somewhere good. on board, there must be a way to get it moving. I reckon this isn't any normal ship. Dallas probably rigged it with traps from head to backside. Let's keep it dancerly. Dallas, this was a magister. She didn't miss much, no. Caution. Who knows what they've hidden away below decks? Diary. Um. Oh, we did find a diary. Okay, cool. Yeah. There's more to this ship than meets the eye. We're not out of the woods just yet. Just yet. <laughs> how's your day going Liz? some of the others are below decks let's see how they're faring okay so uh, i don't think we finished today. scanning and uh grabbing all of the items off of everybody or maybe we did Me maybe Fox are doing that okay oh uh there's a dead magister up here I didn't see that one. Oh, hey, the Red Prince is on board. Yeah, everyone's on board. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's also one there. Well, we can't get to that without, I don't think, without getting lit on fire. Oh, Fox mm. has a conversation. I'll be there in a second. We need you alive. Interesting. <clears throat> near the toasty body roasty toasty <laughs> how the hell is a rapier a dagger <laughs> okay I know what's at stake, but i have to warn you this ship is alive and dangerous yeah glances <laughs> over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. Fun. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him. Without <laughs> warning. He burned like he was made of parchment.
Wait, so the Arcos are stupid OP? Yeah, they are. Being able to just continuously spawn spiders and send them into your territory without declaring yeah. war? Super, super OP. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again, her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. That's sad. Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. She sighs. I know. <laughs> just be careful. Guessing it's on you, you're below decks? Nope, it's right behind you. Oh, okay, fair. Ooh, storage boxes. Mashed taters. Oh, nope, that's stew. Ooh, ooh, uh. I. Let's see, I think some of the source abilities have, uh, have appeared. I've got the, uh, polymorph source ability. Ooh. Skin, skin graft resets all cooldowns, removes burning, necrofire, poisoned, and bleeding. Interesting. I like how everyone mm. just keeps interacting with the ballista. <laughs> it goes boom. Goes Krithump. Krithunkle. Krithunk in the night. Touching the figurehead. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is like a dragon figurehead. Interesting. Some more money out of this guy. At that moment, the ship I'll keep that purging one for now, just in case that could like be useful. Acknowledging your observation. Um, let me see. Fox! Skin graft! Fox is in conversation with the figurehead right now. Ah, it's okay. Okay. Searing pain races up your arm. The ship senses And Izangi! Fan of knives! <laughs> Give me a minute, I'm walking very slowly to a chair. Fan of, fan of knives! The pain mm. Also, it's spreading past your arm, across your chest. Your these are feel like they're on fire. It's not letting me open them. Uh oh. They are, they are personal storage chests. That's why. Ah. So one of these is yours. There you go. Uh, also, if you have stuff to sell, send it to me now. Uh, sure thing. Yeah, Exeter has 6,500 gold. Let's, uh, let's get that. By the way, should I just be holding on to all food items, or should I just send them to you to sell? Like, I, I don't know the point of holding on to food. So, food items can give you a small bonus. Uh, like, before you go into battle, they can buff you a small bit. So if you want to use them, then feel free. But, like, yeah. otherwise, if you don't think you're going to remember to use them, just give them to me to sell. Yeah. How sturdy are your robes right now? My robes? Yeah. Uh, I can tell you in a minute once I've sold stuff. Here, my friend. Uh, Show us the way forward. Deliver us from Do you... you keep keep sending over mm -hmm. stuff for me to sell. Whatever you got, all of it. Yarrow flower. Should I keep that? Hold on to that. Flowers okay. you should hold on to. Okay. Uh, because like we can make buffing potions out of those. Gotcha. Okay. Let me know once everybody has um, sent everything. Okay, Fox I think that was a direct upgrade. Up. That was a direct upgrade. Mm. Um, I should probably keep the staff for if we're going to fight undead, is what I think. Okay. Um, 
Same with mushrooms? Here. Yes, mushrooms. Uh, basically, anything that isn't directly food, uh, you should keep for uh, making potions. Gotcha. Some mushrooms will cause poison, some will actually cause healing. I don't remember which one is which. I want to say the fly agaric is poison. That sounds about right. And yeah, and then there's a oh. there's a brown one that heals. I, I remember that. I just don't remember which one it is. Uh, Fox, yours might be the one next to me. Whisperwood. I think that one's a potion ingredient. Yeah. Yep. If you have Stardust Herb, especially keep that because that's useful for upgrading equipment. Gotcha. Because <clears throat> we need Pixie Dust and Stardust Herbs. Okay. I've given everything that I have. Okay. Uh, let me find the other traders. I have a lot of random food in my pockets. <laughs> Dugan is still alive. Good. Fane is still alive. Fane? <laughs> Fane. All the sorcerers would be alive still. Yeah, I know. I'm guessing all the, like, quote unquote main characters are still alive. Yeah. Yeah. They're all still alive. Okay. They, they show up here in case you want to switch out your party. Gotcha. <clears throat> wow, that lucky charm got me a pair of socks. <laughs> nice. Um, there's this hatch here. Should I go down? Not yet. Uh, yeah. It's not super important. Not at the moment. What am I looking for? I there's two people I labeled as Dallas's assistant. Mm-hmm. Do they look like uh, anyone that we've seen before? Oh, yeah. These are the uh, silent? Yep, the silent monks. Silent monks, there we go. I forgot their name, but I, I forgot fully what their name was. No, Simone is upstairs. She's got the water stuff. Water <clears throat> stuff, TM. Water stuff. TM, TM. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she does not have the source ability for that. Okay, good to know. Yeah, might as oh, well read my fan of knives. I believe Gareth had some abilities that are good for us. I don't remember which one. Uh, Samadel, I believe, had fire. Uh, it's tiresome. Yes. Ah, and had my Geomancer. Stolen, you would still not Here we go. I could be an elf, a dwarf. Ooh. Uh, so here's some good ones. Uh, for Geomancer, I can summon a hungry flower. Nice. Uh, plant. Plant can lob acidic spores and emit cursed poison clouds. Uh, I've also got Ooh. the uh, warfare one, which is thick of the fight. Gain a ten percent damage boost for every nearby character or totem, including yourself. The more the merrier. I might have to start putting points into memory, just so I can have more spell slots. Because source abilities take two fucking points. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Fane says, yes, and had my mask not been stolen, you would still not see me. I could be an elf, a dwarf, a tall dwarf? <laughs> Human, <laughs> that's the term. Hi, Marvellius. Hug the gobble. Kiss Gob the gobble. But you're quite Love the gobble. <laughs> My okay, she does not have the abilities there. Sergeant Zrilla. There are answers to be found. <clears throat> I simply need to get to Reaper's Coast to return to the Black Pit's excavation site. Now is not the time for a bomb. Yes, Morelius, love. 
The only treasure oh, shit. Now is the perfect time to wash my bones. Knowledge. It's always the perfect time to wash some bones. I was investigating a site where several artifacts of my people have been found. Some were even intact. Alas, I was not the only one there. Those red robed idiots were scurrying about too, trampling precious clues under mm. their ignorant boots. They caught me when I failed to correctly respond to their questions. Ocean bottle. There's a lot of shit here. to sell in Dallas. Still, uh, it's good to be on the move again. Below. But we got to figure out how to get in there. They simply asked me what I was doing there, and I simply told them to be gone from my land. I may have used the phrase pathetic mortals. Come to think of it, I may have used it several times. <laughs> I may have used the phrase pathetic mortals. Come to think of it, I may have used it several times. <laughs> uh, Fane's such a great character. He, he really is. Uh, like, I I'm glad for the first run through that I'm doing that I'm not playing with Fane, but like, I feel like I should definitely play through with Fane at some point to get oh, like all the juicy details that Fane provides specifically. Okay, because it is an entirely different game. It's like um, in Vampire the Masquerade, you have all the other characters and then you have the Malkavian playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a completely different game. Yeah. Complete bug fuck nuts. I I'm sorry, what? It's completely bug fuck nuts. Well, it's also that the Malkavians get, like, a shit ton of very subtle uh, clues that reveal the entire story. Mm. Let's say, if I remember correctly, the version of the Malkavian you're getting is the most fucked up variant, though. To where you're uh, completely and utterly insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, like, absolutely bad shit. But, yeah, like, at one point, halfway through the game, a TV talks to you. And, uh, yeah, they basically tell you the entire story of the game if you know what you're looking for and what they say. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, continue, please. The faster we leave them behind, the happier I shall be. Is that so? Perhaps we could find an arrangement that benefits us both. Benefits us both? I need to travel to the Black Pits oil field near Reaper's Coast. But my attempts at staying <laughs> under the cover have not gone well to date. Under the cover? Okay. <laughs> Given how well you handled yourself in Fort Joy, I rather think you could be of use. And I am certainly useful to you. So I think this is the conversation for being able to switch him into the party, basically, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, how about it? I travel with you and aid you in your various chores and tasks. While you help me to remain incognito. Good night, Bree. Yeah. Really? Really? Uh, better <laughs> off alone than with. Oh. Very well. Very well. <laughs> no accounting for taste, I suppose. Or sense. <laughs> I do like how just utterly flabbergasted he is. Just, just like, like better off with alone than with. Uh, what? Huh? You, you you fucking what, mate? <laughs> you fucking what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Eager for you to say something. Interesting. And this one seems eager to move. <clears throat> hmm. Teleport them somewhere else? That'll, that'll make them move? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder what the hatch does. I still love the idea that this ship has giant ballistas underneath. Yeah. Like, it, because they don't have cannons, but I'm just like... That's, I mean, ships did do that, but it was typically one ballista on the top of the ship. Yeah. You have people who can throw fireballs, game. You don't need ballistas. No, no, this is just an alternate history. <laughs> uh, good if I go down into this hatch here? Yeah, yeah, feel free. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> 
don't want to advance too fast, but also like, I don't think also, there's anything more on this floor. Yeah, also want to get a move on. Yeah. Oh. There's a little parchment paper over here that I just noticed. Um, interacting with it does nothing. So never mind. Apparently I have a password to give it. Oh. I'm talking to the lady guarding uh, Bishop Alexander's cell. There's got to be some clue. Dallas would have trusted someone. Unless someone's still inside there. Um, Quercus is in there, or there's a skeletal cat at least. Yeah, there's there is a skeletal cat. It's, it's not Quirk. What, do you think that just because you see a skeletal cat that they're all Quirkus? They're all Quirkus. That's that's very feelinist of you. <laughs> sorry. That's skeletal. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I... Explosive arrowhead. What? Just because we're all a bag of bones, we all look the same to you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? In this case, it's literally the exact same skeleton cat model. <laughs> Uh, it, it is the exact same one, yeah. Fishing rod. It is a spear of eight to nine physical. A simple rod suitable for saltwater or freshwater fishing. Or mischief. <laughs> okay. I think that can probably just be sold. Oh, you're talking. Maybe it was just the lack of food and rest playing tricks, but I swear I heard chanting and uh, horrible moaning coming from here. But when we broke free, it was empty. Hmm. Good luck getting anything out of our question is, how is this asshole still well, alive? I'm pretty sure I stabbed cold. him. I know, right? A lot. I fireballed him. Like, his skin mm -hmm. should be roasted. Yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> accidentally <throat> killed a zombie when I was trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to pull up that clip, like, the, and, and just show, like, <laughs> hey, the circle, like, it was highlighting a zombie, and then it wasn't highlighting a zombie, so I thought I was yeah. safe, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> Ooh, a sash. Talking to the uh, the magister that's guarding Alexander. Guarding, right. Mr. Ranley, Cork has made of the divine eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Ranley, Cork has made, Lady Vengeance. Magister Ranley, Cork has made of the... Diplomatically raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. The Magister falls silent, oh, but Jesus. stares at you with unwavering here's defiance. The, here's the test. Point to Alexander and tell her that she ought not to antagonize their captors, or she could wind up with the Divine's blood on her hands by proxy. Nope, I mean, we do uh, not use it. Rip. So yeah, guess I should do the talking. Yeah. Uh, I, I Could I see if... Since I can... <laughs> eat corpse uh could i intimidate her with that <laughs> you'd still need persuasion true <sighs> yeah, you, you, you try talking she notices you observing her she's magister ranley Corcus mate of the divine eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. <laughs> oh, right away, just... <laughs> so Do it. Do it. I was gonna. Magister <laughs> Ranley, Corcus mate of the divine eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. Ranley, Corcus mate, Lady Vengeance. Ranley, 
The Magister pauses. Magister Ramley, Corker's mate of the Divine <sighs> Oh, interesting. Okay. No, because it, since I failed it, it, nobody else. Help. A young Magister, she noticed. Magister Ramley. Shit. Corker's yeah, it's not, it's not going to let anybody Ramley. else do it. The Magister pauses. Yeah. Ramley, Ramley. <laughs> Yes, yeah, some conversations you can do over and over. Persuasion checks you cannot. What if I poison her? Don't. <laughs> because well, you can that's good. Can no, 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 no. Oh, Just, uh, it's on you. Try talking to Bishop Alexander. <laughs> I ought to chain you up like you all did to me. Oh, a different persuasion. You're in a thing. Unarmed, surrounded by people that want to kill you. <laughs> I could just stab you and throw you overboard. Not even a blip on my moral compass. All right. <laughs> Don't harm him. I'll be watching. All right, asshole. <laughs> Supine. <laughs> Supine. Which there, I I learned through um. Uh, my biology text that there is a difference between uh, supine and prone. Prone is you're laying face down. Supine mm -hmm. is you're laying face up. Yeah. Yeah. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung around his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. I learned that in Unis Anis, in the video <laughs> in which they were doing the um. Bruises swell beneath his eyes. Oh, uh, chiropractor stuff. From his right ear mm. down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Hmm. Gem. Not a test. I'm gonna go talk to a door. I'm gonna go talk to a door. <laughs> hey, yep. You're alive. Not locked up in here. The ship is alive, and so are the doors. I'm gonna close this door. Oh, and, uh, Fox, you said you have stuff to, for me to sell, so I'll go, uh, I'll go talk to Exeter again, since he's got more gold. Just gonna use the other door. Uh, Izangi, if you want to rebalance any points, there's a mirror here. Because you were talking about memory stuff. All right, send me over whatever to, to sell. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It yeah. seems to breathe. Is that yeah. everything? All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. Okay. It gives Ugh. you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Yes. And yes again. The word is. Well, time to start searching. Fortitude. Uh, each of these cupboards have six things, by the way. Six spots. There's a guy check. here. There's a guy? Yeah. Yep. He's. I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh. Okay, I'm in the conversation. So I wasn't many. Sure if everyone was gonna jump in. I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looting. So you go ahead. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. I'm a a curious smile plays across his lips as he takes you in. An undead, eh? Wonders never cease aboard this vessel. Hmm? Ah, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Especially when it comes to their rescuers. To whom do I owe my thanks? I see no cause for alarm. I'm not some uneducated simpleton, you know. <clears throat> Armor. Such a limiting word, but... Ah, oh, that's yes. right. This is where we it find the first teleport. Purpose, amongst others. Mm. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But I try to keep working on my own projects when I can. What on Rivalon is this for? Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills i'm an expert in healing, the crafting, 
be warned, and, uh, subsequent to the bloody atrocity committed at Hassan, shall all seekers be stripped of the titles and privileges once afforded to them as members of the Divine Order. Right Their mistake must seems. not be repeated. Note to self, oh, leave Meister yes. in truth. She could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. <laughs> Did she crush your dick with a hammer? He extends his <laughs> arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored. As if it were mm. magically decayed. Um, she used some form of uh, domination device on me. Domination so device. Do her bidding, not ruin them in the process. So magical CBT, got it. Was flat. Ooh. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do Dense I owe my thanks? Notes. Medical log from the desk of Niles. The house roster physician. of those who stood up to the magisters and lived to tell the tale is a short one. I ought to continue normal what staff, I'm doing here. Purging applied to uh, sorcerer. Anything else? Result typical. Round two. Normal staff purging mm. applied to non sorcerer. Result death. Dallas didn't tell me anything if she could. Three modified it. staff but type I did A purging applied to and sorcerer. Visit dialect. That might ring a bell with you, might it? My thoughts exactly. Mm -hmm. Curious how Dallas would seek to learn such things, don't you think? Perhaps she left something behind to point to her intentions. Hey, resurrection scroll. Ancient right, lizard then. dialect. Oh god, there's notes from Psycho Boy. From Niles, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. just reading those. Is there any point in picking up additional uh, identifying glasses? Mm, if... I don't think so. Not really, okay. no. So there's not different tiers, it's just, here's the one identifying glass. Yeah. I find the book. I remember there was a book around here somewhere. I need to read. Uh, I may have already picked it up. Ah, illegible book, maybe? If it's the one I'm thinking of, I have already picked it up. <laughs> Bed handle more than one of us? Hmm? Good question. Hmm. Nope, it, it cannot. I did, I did find a chest armor that says it's a smashing blouse. Smashing. It's, it's okay. It's actually not as good as, uh, not as nice as the one that I had. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> Hydrothophist. That's me. Oh yeah. Uh, I forgot to ask. What's your armor like? M me? Canuda. Because I had a so I, uh, I was asking about earlier. Sorry, I I just started a conversation with the skeletal cat. Uh, let's get through that one and then remind me again. I click and clack as I stalk my prey. Oh. My tail rattles like a snake's. I suffer. Hmm. I wonder, do I have special dialogue with the cat? My very being is a curse. Maybe. Was Tarquin that wretch, that rat? I ate an ill mouse and passed in my sleep, and the brooding boar brought me back on a lark. Me miserable. Mumsy? Is she here? Mumsy, where are you? Tis I, Bookly Bear, am quite changed, hmm. but don't be frightened. It is very interesting that Dallas the Hammer has a cat named Boopley Bear. Boopley Bear. You? She sent you? The cat begins to purr and rub itself on your ankles. Any friend to Mumsy is a friend to me. I believe the song is around Ooh. here somewhere. Oh, I don't know. The direction of over there. <laughs> over there. 
Thank the cat and scratch their skeletal the neck. The cat purrs, an eerie clicking sound. Tell Mumsy to come back soon. Now that I am but bone, I'm too light to trip the moving door. I'm sure there's a rat back there. A rat. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. There's a, uh, hold on. Who you've got, Wits? There's, there's a thing we gotta find. A pressure plate. Oh, hey, Izangi. You missed a thing. Uh, Izangi's talking with Bone Snake. Bone, bone Cat. With Bone Cat. Bone Cat. Why? No one understands me. No one. Be miserable. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Mumsy? Is she here? Mumsy, where are you? You. You sent the you. The begins to purr and rub itself on your ankles. Any friend to Mumsy is a friend to me. Song is around here somewhere. Fox, let's Zangi. test that. I'm in the bed. Chess. <laughs> yeah, I was more concerned with other things at the time. I want in the bed. Cuddle the crystal. No, uh, it looks like only one person. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this. Is it? No. Now is not the time for a bath. Uh. Hmm. Now is not well, the time for a bath. There now is, is not the time for a bath. There is this hatch down here. Yeah. Uh, and I can also use the teleporter pyramid to see where it goes. Oh, I'm in a fight. Oh. I went down All and right. I'm immediately in a fight. <laughs> oh, with two geists. The hammer's pet. Okay. There's the other teleporter pyramid. How's that? Not mind when it gets. Um. Let's see. I think this will make both of them wet. I'm not positive, but I think. It should make everybody within the area yeah. wet. Yeah. And then. Let's see. Uh, I'm not technically in the water though, so my spells aren't cheaper. Unfortunate. You, One. I would say you could try to move, but we're all in your way. Yeah, I can't move up to there. Can't reach destination. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Um, I still think I'll do. On my turn, I'm probably gonna move up here and focus on buffing for a little bit because these guys have One, some two. impressive magic armor. Three. So keep the crystal safe with our bodies. With our bodies. <laughs> um. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was you, not me. That was all Ow. my crystal armor. Uh. 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 About that. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna do this and this. Now the training wheels are off. Welcome. Yep, as Liz says, <laughs> now the training wheels are off. Welcome to the pain boat. Pain. <laughs> Agony, if you will. <laughs> My turn again. 
Well, at least I've broken most of his armor. Um, well, I'm going to fortify myself. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, interesting. It shows when you're going to get an attack of t opportunity on yourself. Yep. 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 Uh, um. You may it... just want to focus on healing for a turn and then anything left, see what you can do. Because one of them is taunted, which is good news. But yeah. we are stuck in a corner, unfortunately. I'm going to do that for you. Thank you. Gonna do this for myself. Alright. Hmm. Um. Hmm. You're within. No, you're too far. <laughs> what spell is that? The touch. Ah, uh, the, the shocking grasp, yeah. Yeah, they're like inches away. <laughs> yeah, they've they've got a little bit of range with their long arms. Yeah. Oh well. Um Are they undead technically? No, they are not. No, they are they're living not. creatures. They're just twisted and deformed. Yeah. <laughs> and they call me an abomination. Huh. They are they are less resistant to water because of that uh, because of being wet. Gotcha. I'll do that. They then. take they they take less damage from air. Okay. Um. If I do this, it's gonna hit every. Uh, let's just Boom. start buffing people. <laughs> Encourage! Encourage. <laughs> Encouragement! <laughs> That's our health. Uh, let's give Izangi more wits and a bunch of other bonuses. And then spread poison everywhere. Poison? You can then light it on fire and blow up the entire room. Oh god, they do 142 damage. Oh, because it's backstab criticals. Okay. Rip. That that makes a little more sense, but Jesus. Um oh, I gotta love it that that doesn't cause the teleportation. Yup. Despite the fact that they very clearly teleported, it, it doesn't count. You know. Shackles of Pain uh, is a good call. <laughs> you just canceled out Fox's Shackles of Pain. Uh oh. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you should have. You, so remember in future to shackle different targets. Hmm. Well, I can at least do this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Fox can move away. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then. Um, I'm gonna have the attack of opportunity hit me, um, so I can okay. get up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Which what I hate is getting the attack of opportunity, like stops your movement completely. Yeah. I, I don't like that. That's that's about the only thing I don't like about it. Yeah. Um, it's useful on enemies, but for us, kind of shit. And then... I'm gonna give Uncanny Evasion to you. Help the fox live. 
Can I get far enough away? Ah, Fuck damn. you! You said I wasn't gonna get one! Whatever. Fuck you! Boom. Boom. <laughs> Game told me I wasn't gonna get an attack of opportunity, and then I got one anyway. Fuck you too, then, game. I feel like you should have done more than 13 damage a hit. Well, I'm also diseased, so a lot of my damage goes down. Ah, uh, mm. fair. Um... Those also weren't backstab criticals. The only way I can get rid of diseased is by healing you, which will do damage to you. Or just fortify me. No, fortify does not get rid of diseased. It gets rid of decaying, which is different. Yup. No, when I was moused over it, it said fortify would have healed me. No, no. Removes poison, bleeding, burning, acid, and decay. Oh, weird. Whereas first aid gets rid of Crippled, knocked down, blind, silenced, bleeding, burning, poisoned, diseased. Yes, first aid. Always be sure to read your abilities, Fox. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we do need to get rid of one as quickly as we can. If I drop With... one on top of the other, that's physical damage, correct? To the one that gets dropped onto, or do they both it... take damage? They both take damage. Okay. And I can also spontaneous combustion the one that's still alive, and I'm fairly certain to kill it. Um... Or get really close, at least. Uh, invalid target. They're entangled. I can't. Oh, I can't teleport yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why? Why can I not teleport them? I can't because that. <laughs> well, if um, you've got any any damage, and say hit it as hard as you can. Yeah. Um, just to clarify, you're going for this one, and I go for the other one. Yeah, kill. Yeah, kill the one that's already. Damaged, okay. Or the the one that's most heavily damaged. Yeah. Um. I won't be able to kill it this turn, but I can get it pretty well damaged. If it's enough that all the damage over times can can do it, then that'll be the best thing. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it exploded! So hell yeah. Um, I'll just leave that one to, uh, <laughs> perish. Yeah. That yeah, it's... Hit me with that, which damaged me, which damaged him. It's because it's a poison staff, and so since it's on fire, it, it explodes. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Plus, it takes my poison damage as well. Boom. Um, Fox, take another clear-minded, or take a clear-minded, rather. Burning again. Uh, De um, death. death wish? Excuse me? Character receives bonus damage based on missing vitality, currently plus 75%. Huh. Okay, then. And yeah, Lisk, it's great that, you know, wood doesn't burn and items don't burn. <laughs> you know, all of the above. It's just convenient, you know? <laughs> yeah, cheered by Fortify, Bless, First Aid. Weird that diseased. Oh. 
That's some sort of mismatch. Weird. Or maybe it's just that Fortify doesn't tell you everything. Um. Divinity Original Sin 2 Fortify. No, I believe the tooltips are correct. It, sh it will get rid of it. Yeah! Hooray! I'll put Best out the fire as soon as I can. Yay! Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll just do this. I've got a scroll of rain. Oh, okay. That'll, yeah, that'll put me and the zombie out. I, somebody, I... Hmm, uh, okay. somebody else should take the blue uh, teleporter pyramid, and maybe we can use them to teleport to each other if we're, like, separated out. Sure, I'll take that one. Like a conversation. Another pyramid. Another pyramid. These pyramids are linked to each other. Open your inventory and use the teleporter pyramid to teleport to its partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um. Nope, there's nothing else down here. There's the grotesque jars, but I forget if they were actually worth it. Nope. Steam lance. Steam lance? Is it that an ability? Smoke. It's the thing I found. Oh, nice. Two source points, two actions. Whew. It better be worth it. Releases there. a stream of blessed steam, which heals characters in its path and removes burning necrofire, diseased, and decaying. There's got to be a thing around here somewhere. There's Resource a pressure plate that we're missing vitality. somewhere. 73 vitality for three turns. That's pretty oh, good. There it is. It's got to be... The second one somewhere. No, no, you have to be the right way. Or maybe check under the other chairs? That one? <laughs> maybe the story? Maybe the ornate chest? Uh, yeah, Foxy, if you, if you standing on it, uh, we'll, we'll weigh it down. Yep, there we go. It had to be a person. That that's what I thought. It had to be a, a an actual person. Hmm. There's a button. Where are y'all? Out here. Uh we're yeah, we're back upstairs and we're looting Dallas's treasure room. Painting of battle. Uh let's see. Where was the pressure plate? Uh, down below under a chair. Ah, okay. Um, there is a, a cool looking staff uh, for you, uh, Crystal. I, I'm not sure it's going to be super good because it doesn't have any extra bonuses. Gotcha. But there you go. Yeah, I did find a belt of 18 physical armor and plus one sneaking. Oh, nice. That's useful, but not as much for me because my... 22 physical and thievery dodge pers perseverance belt I got from the well. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah. And then Sybil's gloves. Interesting. Six physical, 24 magic armor, plus 10% earth resistance, plus 2% critical chance. Holy shit, I can sell these this glass for a lot. Six glass sold for 936 gold. <laughs> That's a lot. Yup. Anybody care strongly about these gloves or should I take them? Nah, go ahead. Okay. Plus one huntsman. Okay, still have enough huntsmen for our first aid. Okay. Uh, so the the ones I got rid of are 
7 physical, 6 magic, uh, plus 1 finesse, plus 10% poison resistance, plus 1 huntsman. Um, For gloves. No, I, I'm good there. Thank you, okay. though. I'll send them over to you for selling. Fox said necklace. What about what about a necklace, Fox? Put it in my inventory. Okay. Fancy necklace. Okay. I'm still wearing Sahela's crest. So. War cane. That is better than my other one. Okay, so do you think we've found the thing that allows for us to talk with the dragon head now? Or yeah, yeah, yeah we we did. Okay, oh, I, I, I I found it. Okay. I am headed up to the front. <sighs> You go in up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Every time. Show us the path to salvation. Talk time? Uh, hold on. Oh, Azanki still has a point to spend, too. Huh? It's on your character sheet, or on your character uh, portrait. You still have a point to spend. No, I don't. You don't have, like, a civil talent to get? No. Huh. Weird. What would that look like? Because I'm... It's the, the green plus sign on Izangi's portrait. I don't see a green plus sign. You don't? Okay, but Fox does. Huh. No, it might just be a, a desync glitch, that's yeah. all. There's an odd mark on the side of the figurehead. Battle damage, weather stain. It almost looks like a pattern, however. Sing the song from the top. The deck beneath you groans and trembles, like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. Mm. You are not the witch. You are not Dallas. Mm. You sang the song. Now we must decide my fate. Are you to be my new mistress? You are kind, but I can never be free again. Not truly. I am a vessel and must be guided. Let me take you wherever you wish. We can depart as soon as you are ready. Ah, That's unfortunate. I am here to serve in all ways. Remark that whatever spirit resides in this wood must have had a previous existence. Can it remember anything? The creaking of the ship eases into a contemplative silence. Once, I was an elf. I passed away and was reborn as an ancestor tree in a beautiful forest surrounded by kin of both flesh and root. But that time has passed. I saw that forest reduced to a dead place. Then I was taken away. My memories were lost, like the leaves from my branches. That's sad. Yeah. The sails overhead billow outwards suddenly. The sun is blocked, momentarily casting the dragon figurehead into shadow. Magisters, they raised sacred elven lands and uprooted ancestor trees from the earth. I was one of them. 
Uh, yes, as far as I know, Death Fog kills everything that is living. Everything. Mm -hmm. They tore me apart and turned me into this monstrosity. Mm. Of course, wherever there is sea, I will endeavor to bring you. Consult with your companions and set a course. Hi, Melody. The ship is awake. We have to make good on our escape. Crystal? Okay. Yes. Is she ready to sail? Dying to hear them. Uh, you want to me to mention the Meister? The Meister Siva is one of a rare breed. She'd do anything in the name of a cause, and her cause anything. to be you. Mm. She's desperate to meet a living god woken. She'll be exceedingly pleased so, we're en route. Whenever it's said that you'll do anything for a certain cause, that's like it's really bad. Could be like a, it's it's a red flag. Like it might not actually yeah. be an issue, but it's like a red flag of like saying you'll do anything because that that's like you're going to do things without it, any morals. Yeah, it it could mean that like I'm willing to die for this cause. Right. Or it could mean I'm willing to kill innocent people for this cause. Right, yeah. It, it can go, like, one of two ways, but, like, when when I hear that, it's like, eh, I'm, I'm a little bit leery of yeah. you now, unless you're going to, like, be a lot more descriptive of what your anything means, you know? Yeah. Have a, have a good sleep, Ducky, and thanks for stopping by. Sleep. Better not leave her waiting. She's a bit particular. She's the founder of these seekers, and she's powerful. That means something when I say it. Your kind can reach astounding heights. Meister Siva can help you do just that. Yes, where we're going. A go. place called Driftwood. Has Driftwood. Putrid <laughs> fish, putrid dwarves, and Meister Siva herself. You'll probably find it quite comfortable. <laughs> Away we go. Uh. Yeah. Can I? Um. No. Feel, free I to, just... feel free to get not ready. Yeah. yeah. Let me just see if I can talk with the ancestor tree and see if there's anything special as an elf. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. The sea awakes. There is much to yeah, there's special elf things. Yeah. Have a good night, Marvellius Hog. You get some good sleep. Sleep time is good. Uh, who was it in a previous life? Sleep time is indeed good. Yes. Joins Fox and picking up Crystal and just going ah. off somewhere. <laughs> Love how Going the head to... turns around. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I love the how the head turns around. Yeah. I see you, sister. No, Marvellius, I, I changed the game. You just need to refresh. I was once an elf. I think I did. No, I might be wrong. I Rip. I grew into an ancestor tree. No, I, I changed it for for last year of Nostalgia. I did not change it for Divinity. Thank you, Marvellius. If there, um, if it was the occasion that like it wasn't updating client side, I believe there's an FFZ setting to check more forcefully, basically for like those updates, um, hmm. uh, because Twitch has a whole bunch of issues and FFZ fixes like most of them. <laughs> yeah. Um. There, there's also one I like where if um. If you have some... Love you too, Marvellius. Bye. Bye, Marvellius. Um, if your watching session is falling behind what the live thing is, it'll actually play the stream slightly faster at like 1.1 or 1.2. I, I think it's 1.1 times speed in order to bring you back in sync. So not so fast that most people would notice, but enough to like 
help you eventually catch up and, and get back in sync. Um, then I pass Gruen to an ancestor tree. Then I was taken away. My memories were lost like the leaves from my branches. So this is the same statement, but just, oh, elf. Thanks to the great calamity yeah. of our people. The Magisters. They tainted our soil with death fog. This one's a little different. And uprooted the sacred ancestor trees. They, they tore me apart and turned me into this monstrosity. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Let's go! Let's go! With the sun on their backs and the wind in their sails, the god woke and watched... Gosh, chapter two was really short. <laughs> <laughs> but their capture of the Lady Vengeance had not gone unnoticed. Ooh. Ship battle. I like that the ship that's approaching us, there's also a storm behind it. I respect your metals. Oh, Dallas. You steal my ship, kill my bishop, and ally with demons. But you have no idea what you're really dealing with. Is Hangi? Oh, I didn't realize it was me talking to an owl. We are ready, mistress. Yes, Cloaked but figure. are they? I swear, mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. <laughs> Very well. Show me. Weaponized monk. Ugh. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? I won't see it taken from under my yep. And silent, silent monks, silent watchers. And hey, all those people that we helped. Hey, they're all fucking dead for a plot point. Hooray. Ain't it great when they're not, when characters aren't useful to the story anymore. The only thing left is to kill them all so you can show what a terrible world it is. Fuck you, developers. Yeah. Like I don't other, mean that. Like I don't mean. Uh, I sorry. I just want to say yeah. I don't mean that purely as like fuck the developers at Larry, and I mean fuck the writers that ever use that trope. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, like uh, some of the people dying because of a hard fought battle. That's like, you know, it's sort of humanizing. Like I, I don't know the best phrase for it, but it's like, it, it's, it happens. Yeah, that it, it's more understandable. It happens but rather say, than everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, rather than just oh, you saved them and ripping that away from you. Hooray! Like, that is, that is not a trope that makes me feel angry at the characters, because that's what it's supposed to do is make you feel anger towards Dallas. Mm -hmm. But that's not what it does to me. It makes me feel anger at the writers because you just took that from me. Yeah. You just took all of that effort from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen up. We can't win this one, but I can guess it's to safety. You'll need to buy me time. Interesting. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Godwoken. <laughs> Parasites, rather. I'll take care of it, mistress. You know, from this distance, I could beam them in the head with a poisonous gas grenade. You could, but they are level 20. Well, level 13 and level 13, yeah. They are significantly more powerful than us, but there is also a chest over there, too. Fiery mail diction. A magical bomb was attached to this character and will go off when the status expires. After one turn Who and after two it? turns. Who got it? Oh, Sabeel. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, before I attack, I want to look at... What the fuck? Yeah. 
Yeah, the weaponized monks are real fucked up. They've attached the the chomping jaws to them by the skin on their skull. Yeah. And then oh, we need we need them on all fours for some reason. Turn them into dogs, essentially. Yeah. Silent it's probably, monks. admittedly, like, as effective as that is, it probably is more to do with intimidation, psychological warfare, than it is uh, anything else. Yeah. Okay, and then... Um... Uh, okay, this one's just- the weaponized monks are only physical, so I can freeze those. Yeah. Yeah, you and I should definitely focus on the, uh, weaponized monks. Yeah, whereas the other ones are just- the geists are both, so the, they'll be difficult however way. The silence yeah. have, uh, these- Two? Yeah, these two have magic armor. This one back here has physical armor. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that one's frozen. I'm moving away so I don't blow up a zombie. <laughs> I would also like to point out that Malady is level 12. She has 529 HP. The cloaked figure is level 13 and he has 1589 oh, HP. Fun. That is that is a personally I think that actually is a really nice touch because that's the environmental storytelling way of being like you can't beat him yet. <laughs> like do not try. <laughs> but what if we did? <laughs> but what if we did? But but what if I want to? <laughs> yeah. Oh, magic shell was cast onto it. Or, or armor frost, which got rid of frozen. Okay. Yeah. Still, I think it was worthwhile to do that. Made them spend an action point on doing that, so. Yeah, absolutely. The guy's magic armor is almost gone. Where is it going? Uh. To high ground, obviously. <laughs> It'll be so good up there, you know? The the guy's is just like, It's over, Anakin! <laughs> I have the high ground. I have the high ground. <laughs> Gareth, no! Gareth, don't waste your turn on them! You did literally nothing! <laughs> Oh my goodness, it, 750 down to 716, like, ah, yes, yep. Yep. great. <laughs> you wasted an entire turn. Oh, interesting, the magic shell has given this weaponized monk uh, magic armor now. Which yep. I guess makes yep. sense. Yeah, that it it, yeah that that's, it it's just like fortify. It gives more maximum instead of restoring some, because yeah, there's okay. some abilities that are like they restore armor or magic armor, and then there's others that's like it gives you magic armor. Matt, you need to break the magic or Matt, this armor first for that. Hmm. Gotta read the gotta read the abilities. It always tells you if uh, armor resists. Ooh. 
are you? Tarlene. Oh, I don't I don't remember that. That's okay. new. That's very new. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, and we're gone. With the help of a oh. demon malady. <laughs> God woken escape through the veil that separates life from death. Oh, okay. So we're just in the death realm now. Yep, we're back in the Hall of Echoes. Ah. Right. Here has a familiar smell, like the place you grew up. Old memories begin to well within you, but the sweet sour smell of decay suddenly punctures them. Go around and realize it. <laughs> the smell grows Hi, Red. It closes yeah, we're playing Divinity, so you're going to get major spoilers ranges. watching this. Then, suddenly vanishes. Now you smell only the faint scent of wood and the cold metallic tang, as yet unfamiliar. Um, the gods are just hung up over here on this tree. Uh, yeah, they're kind of strung up, you know? Shame. They are cursed, but we could maybe bless them? Uh, maybe, but first there is actually something to get over here. Okay, there, I will... I will follow y'all because I am lagging behind. <laughs> yeah, we, we need somebody to jump over here. I, I actually am not sure if we can get it, but let's see somebody jump over here and see if you can. What am I looking for? The, the stuff up the stairs. Oh. Okay. This. High quality tormented soul and then a I portal. I have a thing in my pants. You have, <laughs> is that a skull in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> well, now take the portal. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, just teleport you back down here. Cool. Um, and then do I? Oh, okay. Path forms, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Are those the gods? Touch What's the source. Oh. Yeah. Hangs before, oh. her face cut and bruised, her chest I didn't mean to click on that. You think you see a tear run Shouldn't down her cheek. Around, yeah. You lean near. That's no tear. It's source. The shimmering liquid is seeping from her wounds and dripping to the ground below her. Oh. So, God's blood is source, basically. God's blood. The, the power of the gods is in the souls of others. Interesting. Yep. There you go. Ring. Light. Light. Champion. I'm going to listen in on the conversation with Amadia. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to help Zantessa. Of the void. Oh, now I get to talk to myself. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until Please others are done with their conversations, and mm -hmm. it trust might, because it might be good in moments like this. If we want to see what each other is are doing, we can wait for our conversations, yeah. and and then, like, it'll take a lot longer doing that. Yeah, but it, we can at least get the full story. Mm -hmm. She pauses. Looks I'm going to run to the bathroom, so just have my conversation last. All but sure. Lifeless for the first time. <gasps> my brothers, my sisters. This, this is perfect. Perfect. Just so. If we hurry, perhaps we can steal victory before they can cause us too much trouble. These misguided fools would sacrifice this world to the very forces that saw us strung up like so much fruit. Huh. No, we are the only hope to save this world. You and I alone. But we must hurry. 
The void is close. It is so close. Hmm. It begins within. You use but a fraction of your tremendous power, but you must unlock the rest. And then, you must ascend to divinity. Divinity. Once Lucian the Divine united the powers of the Seven against the Void, he led the people of Rivalon to glory. Now, my child, you will do the same. But unlike Lucian, you will not fail. No. Lucian was weak. Lucian was mortal. You are neither. You will rise as divine, or the world will fall to the void. A Godwoken must become divine. And if we are to have a future, that Godwoken must be you. So go, my champion. Go and claim divinity. She starts to answer, but her eyes change, turning from their gentle glow to a dark shimmer. She looks up and gasps. No, I see it. The horror. The void. It's... it's here. Here? Um... Fly, my child. Fly. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning ice pumps through you like a curse and then... Um... Interesting. Uh, imps, huh? elves over here. What's this? <laughs> Should I have my conversation now? While we're waiting oh. for Knuda? Uh Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we step away for a break at this time and uh come back in just a little bit. Yeah, nice five minute break. Uh I'll just message to let Kanuda know. Being away for a quick Okay. Talk to you soon. And yeah, with that, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, just quick five minute break or so. Uh, restroom and all that, you know.
Hello folks, we are back. And we are going to be rejoining the group now. Hello there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Welcome back, Fox. I've made a new friend recently and uh, whenever I come back from being AFK in a game, they say Weeba. <laughs> W-E-B-A, Weeba. Something from Star Wars, perhaps. <laughs> I know it's just the first two letters of each word, but still. Wap mini bon. Hmm. From Unicron, the old animated movie of Transformers. It's the universal greeting. Excellent. I wonder what they're cursed for. Like, obviously, something caused for them to start bleeding out source, but, like, I don't know. Seems a little bit strange. Also, is this tree, like... Yggdrasil or something like or or maybe like an alternative concept to that I am back sorry Welcome about that back. <sighs> yeah we um we got through Zangi's talk and then it was like wait did Kanuda want for like the rest of us to go or <laughs> so we, we just say it was a good time for a break for everyone that's fair yeah what I meant was like everybody else go through your conversations and then Gotcha, and then gotcha. if you want, you can listen in on mine. Yeah. I, uh, just received some bad news. Oh, no. So, uh, as a bit of context, last year, was it last year? No, 2021, I paid an artist, uh, to do some new screens for my channel mm, this situation yeah and the artist did not deliver on the screens she delivered on three of them three out of the four screens it took her a year to get around to actually doing the final screen this was after she was telling me that oh she was having tons of issues with her computer and couldn't make the art and then i could go onto her twitter and see posts that she was sharing from other people. Hey, thank you for this art you did for me. Um, yeah. And so I, I put a fraud claim in with my bank. I was like, I don't want this art. I want my money back because I I don't. This person has been lying to me and and stealing from me for a year for over a year now. I want my money back. So I put the fraud claim in. It's supposed to be uh, two days ago. Th th sorry, three days ago was the deadline for them to respond to that claim. I just got a letter. Oh, and uh, if they did not respond, then it would default to I win. So I get my gotcha. money back. Um, 
I just got a letter in the mail from my bank saying, we've decided not to go forward with your refund because the merchant's bank came forward and, and showed off, showed that you authorized uh, or showed your, your, your authorization. And I was like, what fucking authorization? Yeah. Are you talking about the authorization for the payments? Because in that case, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Is I gave I gave them money and they did not deliver on the service that I paid for. That's yeah. the point. Yeah, like I I, I I wonder if it's just like some sort of automated system of being like, oh yeah, here's proof so it's not going forward, but like, I feel like it's missing the context that like artists, it's it's standard practice for like artist commissions, you provide money up front. Yeah, it is. That you, you pay for the service before you get the service. That, mm -hmm. that is that is what you do. Right. At, at the very least, you pay half up front. Right, right. I've seen and some artists who do that, but you will pay something up front. Right, and I totally understand why, on like the artist side, why they want all money up front, right? That that mm. like oh, yeah. I, I totally understand that, but I also like from like the consumer perspective to have it be fifty fifty for like, mm -hmm. okay, here's you know, the artist for sure gets something, right? They they don't yeah. get like the the person doesn't receive the art and then just dip or whatever but you could protect yeah. that with having like a huge watermark across it or something like that right mm -hmm. um uh but then it, it also protects the customer uh, or or the commissioner for for knowing like hey i'm uh like i, I might be out of some money uh, or you know get refunded uh, be able to get refunded for some of the money the, in, in the best scenario but like you know you're not going to lose all of it unless you get like yeah. your your actual thing that you commissioned. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. Yeah, I'm just God, I'm just fucking upset because it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Bank? Yes, yeah. I authorized the damn purchases. That's the point. I told you that I authorized the purchases. That was the point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that that really sucks. Yeah. Should we listen in on your conversation? Yes. Okay. Uh <clears throat> All right. Better to leave those lost souls be. They can't help us. Loza talking to Loza just a, a double portrait of Loza. <laughs> yeah. You look angry, Losa dear. Why is that? The gods are indisposed. This is our hour. Soon enough, we'll become divine. Hmm. Tell it you want nothing to do with it. It is a parasite, nothing more. Cool. Girl, if not for me, you'd still be a two bit singer with a few coins in your pocket and someone else's songs in your head. I do hope you come around before it's too late. The figure pauses for a moment, a wide grin spreads over its oh, face. Oh, no, <laughs> actually, do as you please, it makes no difference one way or the other. You may not believe in fate, but you ought to believe in me. I love you after all. Better than anyone else could ever dream of doing. Mm. Just realize the squirrel is here with us. Oh yeah, Laura is just there. Yeah. Quackers! <laughs> <laughs> Laugh loudly. This isn't love. This is the opposite of love. Call it what you want. The point is, we are bound together. Forever. The sooner you get used to that, the greater we will become. You feel it, don't you? That burning cold. That's the void. It's coming here. It's coming for the gods. 
and it'll come for you too. Mm. This isn't the moment for making enemies. This is exactly the moment. Yeah. Remember that. Okay. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Um, I guess I should have my conversation with, uh... Geese. Um... With, I'm... uh, with Sindelius. Yeah. I'm gonna get, uh, each of them uncursed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be gone. Be gone from here. Okay. So that one, that one. This one. Fox. One's Hug. Let's fire ballistas into the afterlife. <clears throat> You're not in mocap anymore? That's fine. I'm going to hug you anyway. Mocap. I don't need a mocap suit to love you. <laughs> God of the elves. As he regains consciousness, <laughs> Tia Sandelius frees an arm from the tendrils that bind him. He clutches at the coils, but cannot rend them How the them fuck apart. is this a dagger? Okay, I'm talking with, uh, this god now. My god. Okay. Alright. Zangi, do you want to listen in, or should I continue? Okay. Mm, curse these snakes! Curse these vines! The... The others too? Am I the first to wake? No, you're the last. Matter. There is no time. <laughs> you must leave this place. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Ask how it feels to be at someone's mercy. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. Just like you, Sabeel, to gloat over a god. Yeah. <laughs> but that pretty smile of yours will melt from your face when you face the void. Eh. It is here. The cosmic spider ever weaving its webs. The void is coming for us gods, coming to drink us dry of our powers. We stand no chance, not here. Fear doesn't become a god. Huh. Let it be a war. Like the the phrase of that I, that suit looks very becoming of you. you huh. Interesting. Does this not give you pause? No, not even a little bit. Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Soon the seven will be nothing but morsels in the void. And you're insane. The void. <laughs> you're talking to yourself. We should have the option to drink them dry <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Just infinite source. <laughs> Unless. Unless you do as I bid you. Do what I blessed you for. I don't feel very blessed by you. You have already set loose some of the powers locked within you. But there is a great <laughs> well of possibility as yet untapped. You cannot stop until you ascend to the highest heights of your power. You cannot stop until you become divine. Divine. Like Lucian, you will be called to unite the powers of the Seven against the Void. Like Lucian, you will lead our proud people to preeminence. But unlike Lucian, your weakness will not lead you to foolish failure. Yeah. Just pull out a keg tap and stab it into them. We get some wine <laughs> glasses. <laughs> Excellent. Either a new divine rises, or the world falls prey to the void. One of the Godwoken must become the new divine, and that Godwoken must be you. I'm still very confused about why they need a mortal to wield their power when, like, hi, you are the gods. Right, or, or and, like, even more so, like, why are they, like, even in this moment where they're all strung up like this, why are they still conspiring, uh, yeah, conspiring, why are they cons yeah. conspiring against each other, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, in this moment, fucking work together, dumbasses. Yeah. With all of your godly powers, even weakened uh, a little bit, perhaps, you, you, you could do something. Yeah. 
I do wonder what this tree is. Yeah, I um just before you arrived, I was wondering if it was similar to like Yggdrasil in their like mm, Yggdrasil, yeah. Connected in with it currently or something, but then they're also being ensnared by it, which doesn't seem very like doesn't seem very tree of lifey, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it would explain the squirrel. <laughs> it would explain the squirrel. <laughs> true, Zongi, true. This could be the great acorn, the, or yeah. the tree that burst the great acorn. Even though the great you acorn is an enemy. Champion. Yeah, I know. So set off in pursuit of divinity. I mean, freaking lunatic is very much Rudatusker esque, I guess. You wonder oh, if I don't even. Like Rudatusker having a cat. <laughs> you wonder if even divinity will save you. Look at him. He's a defeated god. But you are an undefeated god woken, ready to unite the powers of the, the void itself. Are you? But you are an undefeated god woken, ready to unite the powers of the seven. Or you could all just stop being dipshits. Yeah. I mean, now hurry. At least the Mahdi is not a fucking scumbag like most of the other assholes. Yeah. Shh. It's here. The spider's here. The spider is here. Run, go. I will find you. I'll be in awe. I'll be in awe. White hot cold. I'll be in pain. Got it. Heart, like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold comes <clears throat> through you like a curse, and then... And then... And oh. then you're here. Hi! And the talk. The troubled look is visible on each face. <clears throat> You've seen the gods beaten and defied, strung up as a warning. Ralik should be my god too, but he doesn't speak to me. Mm. Even a desperate god doesn't see me as his champion. Interesting. I always thought that the void was just pure destruction and nothingness. But the gods, they looked like they were being punished. Um. It is a very good note to make of the tree wrapping around them. It did seem like they were being punished, like they were being yeah. dead dry. <clears throat> like, I, I like both of these. They're pretty good. Although one of them seems a bit narcissistic. Yeah, the, <laughs> the all of me and because of its emphasized, yeah. Yeah. It seems divinity is but a noose around a god's neck. And as I stood and watched, I could feel a noose tightening around my own. The void must draw its power from somewhere. And if it can gain it, then it can lose it. We might still stand a chance if we try. Mm. Interesting. I like the way Fox thinks. Yeah. We're in a the afterlife. I'm gonna be pessimistic as hell. <laughs> Sir Laura, let me speak with you. <clears throat> Sir Laura, stop running away. It's still there, Quirkus. Do you think he is just going everywhere? In peace? I just watched him teleport. Do you think it will ever leave us in peace? Oh yeah, somebody, somebody should grab this water barrel while we're here. Um. I think I have, yeah, I have decent space. I'll grab it. Do you have decent strength? Jump. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that works. Yeah, it just, <clears throat> you know, went from 32 to 60, uh, sorry, 32 to 92 of my yeah. uh, total weight. <laughs> oh, no, Fox already has a, a water barrel. Okay, never mind then. Thank you, Fox. I can carry one for now. It's not like I'm carrying anything else. Are we going down another level? Uh, yes. I think we're going all the way down in the ship. Okay. Oh! Skeletons! A uh, Spirit of Fane. So here's... Interesting. Oh, yeah. The So these are the main characters that we did not choose and after this moment they are lost forever 
So is this the <clears throat> last chance that we get to pick them up, basically, or...? I know, I believe this is telling you, hey, they're gone. You will never they're find them dead. again. Yeah, they're they're dead. Interesting. <clears throat> cold. I haven't felt cold in centuries. What happened? I just remember Oh no. No, that can't be right. That's rude. Grins so much for the eternals. <laughs> this this is wonderful this is wonderful <laughs> oh fame <laughs> oh what a fascinating experience and i will be able to spend eternity studying you creatures <laughs> no more having to watch from the shadows no more having to walk mysterious social tightropes the skeleton pulls a notebook from the folds of his robes and starts scribbling. As you walk away, you hear him muttering about Observations on the Mortal Races, Volume 1. <laughs> observations on the Mortal Races, Volume 1. She'll do it now. She'll never stop. She'll never stop. And that's that, it's the beast. People are going to perish. She'll do it now. I will have my empire yet. I will have my empire yet. Hmm. I like that in that moment they had a very there is a very clear change in his tone that suggests that he is just delusional in this moment that he is dead and he's not getting his empire the the first time it was like a little bit concerned or like a twinge of like confusion and then the second time was more sinister something yeah where have you been no time i can't hold us here brace yourself this might hurt Hmm. Yeah, so I also want to point out uh, on the surface we did not see the child, Han. Han's mm. dead. Oh. Everyone's dead. Tarlene, she's dead. Yeah, no, they're, they're all dead. That's just it. No matter, no matter what, everyone's dead. Except for Gareth. Gareth lived. And the two silent monks the two over silent here monks. there. Oh no, Han is in the background. He's over there. Okay, good. Oh, wait, where? He's in the he's behind the uh the bed by the silent monks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't kill a child. <laughs> they would. <laughs> they definitely they would. They 100% would. <laughs> the chill of the Hall of Echoes clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. This will only hurt a lot. <laughs> the god woken were alive, but what of the gods? <laughs> but I'm not alive. <laughs> I'm dead. I mean, you kind of are. I don't You're know if it's this game dead. or... I, I forget if it's this game that said it or if it's somewhere else that I'm pulling this from, but, like, unlife... Uh, as if we're talking about like undead creatures, like they're mm. living through their unlife. Yeah, it it's it's a very interesting word because it's to signify that they are not dead. They're they are clearly still moving about, clearly still living, but they're not living in a way that we would recognize as life. Either. Right. They are undead. They they did die and then came back in a way we don't recognize as life, but is right. clearly something. Because a lot of people associate like, you know, blood and breathing as as being life. Yeah. Although there's other forms of life, like plant based stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine prickles your skin. <coughs> Oh, pleasant sounds. 
just a moment. <laughs> Pleasant. I like that they had her actually do the sounds. Like that's that's something you don't see very much. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. <sighs> Better. Let's not do what that again any time that? soon. Hmm? That was source. <laughs> so she has to like Don't sneeze stop. out the spent all source. I could do to save a few of them. It's no mean feat bringing an entire ship full of unspent souls to the Hall of Echoes, you know. I managed all the interesting ones though. You're welcome. I do hope you learn something useful on our little field trip. Condition? What do you mean? I see. Hmm. So, the gods were bound and cursed by the void, and the thing inside you, the very powerful thing inside you, told you you need to become the next divine. Well then. Sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? And quickly. She inspects her fingernails. Interesting. Tension, then looks up at you from under an arch. So timer. she like before she was like, oh, you need to be cautious about this, but now she's like going along with it. Yeah. Like that that's a weird turn, like in one ship ride, you know, like Yeah. I mean, That's... to be fair, we did just go through the Hall of Echoes and speak to the gods again. Right. Like, that. I would say that this is not unwarranted change. It, it's the gods themselves were like, you have to do this now! Right. So, if it was yeah. any of our characters talking with the gods, I think it would make more sense. But it's the fact that it's your character with the yeah. spirit in, with the... like, with the you. thing inside that even she was like, this is worrying. Yeah. And now she's like, we need you to become a god. <laughs> yeah, like that, that it, that's like the only reason that it's weird. If it was any of the other characters, I'd be like, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. this makes sense, but that's yeah. Fair. That's fair. How you were meant to become the next divine. Oh, what confidence you inspire. <laughs> Luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. We already know you can bless, but as far as I know, you can neither see source nor take it as you see fit. I may not know much about divinity, but I do know that any god woken worth their salt will know how to perform all these hoes of fantastic feats. You need to go see the Meister. Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood, you know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it. <laughs> home, that's it. She's got a home in Driftwood. <laughs> home. Give me your map. There you are. Tell her I sent you and she'll handle the rest. You're at the beginning of a long journey, Godwoken. Long, but exceedingly interesting. <laughs> I like how... Now, I must be going, and so must you. I like how the mini-map just has, like... Here's a hard edge where, like, yeah, we 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 drew enough of the mini map. It's fine. <laughs> shopping. She's heading shopping. Why our faithful little sloop? Of course, we can all ride together. Won't that be terribly fun? Terribly One more word, fun. Rosa. I'm concerned <clears throat> about you. The God Woken meet with one of the seven. You've been meeting up with an apparition from your own mind. That isn't good. <laughs> good. Yeah, my every waking moment is focused on finding a way to get it the fuck out of me. But I still want to become a god. <laughs> yeah. The I, I am the know. one, after <laughs> all. <laughs> Last I heard, he's on business outside the Blood Moon Island to the north of Driftwood. He's a demonologist. Jahan by name. We heard of the demonologist before, right? Yes. Uh, the There was a dwarf in Fort Joy who was like, you don't know a guy by the name of Jahan, do you? And it was yeah, like, down no, in the we prison. don't. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Losa. We certainly need it. If I'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next, you can call me back here. Tell the ship she'll know how to summon me. Interesting. And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become <laughs> you could call me 
but I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. I would highly doubt that. Interesting. I am not that sneaky enough. New new conversation with Laura. What if it's too late, hmm? What if the Knights of Dre are too far ahead in their plans? Knights of Dre? At least here, our shield's ignorance can be forgiven, Quercus. The Knights of Dre do not go out of their way to boast about their existence. You know their order, my friend. Mystic Squirrel Knights. Sworn <laughs> to the Great Eagle. Trying to bring about its return. The squirrel absent-mindedly runs a paw over Quercus's spine. The air fills with the sound of soft, dusty purring. They plan to inherit the everlasting forest once the acorn drops and the world is rid of all giants. They believe that only the arboreal will and should survive. Would that include elves then? But then uh, I'm a giant as well. Yeah, yeah, the the giants he refers to is us. Yeah. But he's working on a spell, right? Like it'll stop these knights and defeat the acorn. It we are sitting here twiddling our paws, Quercus. Perhaps we haven't succeeded yet, but we have other worries. The knights of Dre are a dangerous, dangerous order. Lunatics. A single-minded devotion to bringing about the end of the world. Together, Quercus, we can develop some magic to save us from the great acorn. If our shield can keep us alive. Yes, yes, it has done an admirable job so far. It certainly lasted longer than I thought it would. But does it understand that we could be wiped out at any moment? Does it understand the risk? No, I want the entire speech again, from the start. <laughs> trust. Do you remember trust, Quercus? I'm not sure I do. Hmm. Well, yes, of course I trust you, Quercus. You're different. <laughs> Perhaps we should show a little faith in our shield. Just a little. Just a bit. The squirrel reaches out and touches your ankle, sending a hot flush rippling through your body. Your mind's eye sees new potential spells Ooh. swirling before it. Now, listen carefully, shield. The plan <laughs> is thus. Do not die. Excellent. I, I would say it is the best plan. A very <laughs> solid plan. It's <laughs> very it's solid. Bargain, we might just have a chance to complete our research. We might not <clears throat> yet, Quercus. So what did what did we get for a spell? Bleed fire skill. Hmm. Okay, but Fox already has that. What does it take? It's uh, polymorphin warfare, I believe. Fire and polymorph. Fire and polymorph. That, that's. Gotcha. Hey, the child survived. And I think it's time to start repaying the favors. I could fetch some stuff you need, maybe. Ma always said I was a great runner. Ah, yeah. So Han uh, can fetch us crafting materials. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. Can you certainly use a thing or two? Um, oh my goodness. Can Good lord, he could. Oh my god! High quality life essence. Han, just go he find can... some high quality life essence for us. Uh, Han, Han, go <laughs> find me a high quality tormented soul while you're out there. Uh, just wander around the demon islands. You'll find it. It's okay. I have faith. In you. <laughs> oh find my me goodness. Pixie dust. I'll start hunting that down right away. Don't wait up. So what I'm gonna do? And he runs off. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my teleporter pyramid right here, so that we can come back and be like, "Hey, did you find it?" But that would only be a one-way <clears throat> teleport, then, right? From my blue to the red there. No. Uh, if we place the blue down on the floor wherever we are, then uh, mm. we can we can then use the pyramid, the red one, while it's on the ground. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna drop this water barrel. Okay, yeah, since Fox already has one. Oh, uh, actually, um, if Fox, if you'll drop your water barrel, and Azangi, go ahead and bless it. Expert 
Blessed. Oh. For only two you turns. Know. You have to make it blessed. To you have to make it blessed, okay. So it does have to be, like, you use the ability from the graphic view or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah, all you need is a water barrel and any life essence. Okay. All right. Well, we can we can figure that out. I mean, I could Not quite literally make power. one right now if I. Oh, I don't well, think there's such a place in. Well, then yeah, then uh, then Fox, give give his uncle your barrel. My parents still sow the soil there, and if the order hadn't called me to its ranks, I'd still call their farm my home. I miss it. I miss them. They've been forever understanding of my duty, but I admit I've been neglectful. I have some wrongs to right. Here's a barrel of fancy water. Yeah, <laughs> I expect fancy water. Fox, I have uh, a hell of a lot of empty potion bottles. I'm gonna send those over to you. Just fill them all with holy water, and let's see what happens. Or start off with one, actually, to see if it makes a potion or just like a flask that we can throw at stuff. Does he really have to quote Lucian so often? Only as often as I need his guidance, God. When I invoke Lucian's words, I invoke his deeds, too. He stood for the defenseless when the Black Ring rose up. That's for right. All of us. For my mother. That's what the unholy army was named, the Black Ring. That's right. Gareth's nostalgia <clears throat> lasts for just a moment longer. He composes himself, clears his throat, and waits for your next question. There are no and more. I there are no more. Yeah, bye. Bye. Uh, let's... Where did all of those potion bottles go? Did you did you go ahead and uh, take them, Fox? If I had a canister and some intestines, I could make a chemical warfare grenade. <laughs> I have three empty did potion I... bottles. I just sent those over. Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I fucking sold them all. No, no, I see what's happening. They're going into the bags automatically. Because I just used a potion and it, it, uh, the potion bottle disappeared. Why do I have 14 mugs of beer in here? <laughs> oh, I, I sent over a bunch of beer. <laughs> oh no, I saw some of that. Uh, you, you sold it. Or I, I sold it, rather. Yeah. Um, I like how this, uh, boat here is a teleport point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. 56 potion bottles I keep is what I got. Such a lustrous company I find myself in. I'm talking with, uh, Tarkin over here? Yeah, Tarquin. Tarquin, yes. Tarquin. Tarquin. Turfquin. I mean, I, I don't know what that's. Won't let Turquoise. you combine the bless barrel with the bottle. Okay. Interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. Is it good if I just continue the conversation with him or? Oh yes, please feel free. Okay. <coughs> he extends his hand to you. It's clad in a curious looking metal gauntlet, the likes of which you haven't seen before. I am Tarquin. Consider me at your service. Consider me at your service. I'm something of a polymath, if you'll pardon the hard air. Inventing, healing, perhaps a little magic from time to time. Until recently, I was a prisoner of Dallas. But now, make thanks to your weapon. daring do, looking through I'm the a man, and a grateful one. That you're a... Uh, how did Mallory put it again? No. A god woke. Yes, that's it. Quite remarkable if it's true. I'm sure we'll be close friends. Hmm. I can now make a large poison bottle. Taking you in. Okay, this is interesting. So I know how to make a small flame rune, which gives me an idea on how to make the other runes. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's wood, any oil source, and a bag of pixie dust. Uh, to make a small flame rune. So it may be uh, using a water barrel, a regular water barrel, I can make a ice rune or yeah. a water rune. 
Um, but I need a physical object, and it's just a matter of figuring out what physical object that is. Yeah. Like, is it still wood, or is it something else? Yeah. Most people are too sentimental to admit that I can make source infused. I am not interested. I'm sure blessed rooms. I I am wondering about that. Is can we make blessed rooms? Huh. Nothing wrong with tit for tat. Say he's no more to you than a stray dog. He's tolerated but not welcomed. Mm. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Weird. Sabiel's like, there's some things about Sabiel that I like a lot, but then there's other things with Sabiel that, like, th the fact that she's even written such a way, like, makes it so that it's like, ugh. Yeah, it, it can be difficult to, like, enjoy Sabiel. She, uh, yeah. she's, she's a lot. Yeah. I got the Atar of the Blood Road. Plus one to all stats, whose remains in effect future, until sure. death. Nice. Which means if you, if I give this potion to you, do not fucking die. Do not because die. Because it is, it is a once in a lifetime potion. <clears throat> Multiple personality. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it, it can feel like there's a few people wandering around in her head, yeah. Mm. Healing elixir. Invalid. Why it was your ally, Malady, who spared me. She claimed that I might be of some use yet. Rather flattering to enjoy the favor of right. uh, I just made a whole bunch of potions. Let me nice. uh, pass some stuff out. Uh, Fox, take those earth resistance potions. Uh, let's see. Crystal, take that uh, physical armor potion. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna split these magic armor potions. Fox. So see, Izangi take one, Fox take two. Uh, I'm going to keep the fire resistance potion. Oh, and I'm going to mix these two poison bottles. I know Izangi can make all of those he could ever want, but there you go. So, <clears throat> Tarquin over here has... A summon fire slug skill book, which is a uh, source skill, um, mm. and then also a black shroud skill book, which is another source thing. Uh, one is for pyrokinetic, and the other is for necromancer. Ooh. Uh, and then in in general, he has uh, necromancer skill books. Uh, yep, I will I will come and grab those. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I need your wares. I don't care about talking to you. You are irrelevant. <laughs> you are irrelevant. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Uh, let's see. Izangi, you have necromancy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. What necromancer skills do you have? Bloodsucker, Deathwish, Decaying Touch, Infect, Mosquito Swarm, Rain Blood, Raised Bloated Corpse, Shackles of Pain. Bone Cage, Raise Bone Widow, uh, Living on the Edge, Living on the Edge. You said you have Mosquito Swarm, right? Yep. Okay. Actually, I'm going to give Tarquin a few things so that he gives a discount because, God, we need a discount. There, Tarquin. Take all of those. Thank you. There, that's a little better. Went from 7,000 gold cost for all of these skill books to 5,800. Nice. I will take. Can I sell you Zake's Talon? No. Um, we do not need the Shackles of Pain skill books. 
I love that this once-in-a-lifetime semi-permanent boost potion is only worth 212. I got good fighters of every stripe. They know how it's only them. made from the rarest possible plants, you know. <laughs> you know, 200 gold. Yeah, 200. It's fine. Take, it's, it's, that's the best whatever. I can do. Take it or leave it. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, you know, I was just, you uh... Contingent already. Um, I'm going down to take a look at, uh... A cup of water? Alexander. Uh, yes. I do. Well, no, I have, I have milk and beer. Um, let me see. Assuming that does not give me anything. Nope. Uh, unfortunately, I do not, Fox. We'll find some more. Yeah, we'll... Let you try them? Yeah, sure. Here. Send them over the to silent you. monk leans forward slightly and there stares you go. at you straight... The silent monk leans from one... Hmm. Uh, let's see, Izangi, boop, boop, boop. By the way, boop. it does take six action points to use the teleportation thing. To use, the, yeah, yeah. The teleporter pyramid is not something we will ever use in combat. You'd have to ration your points when you're standing right next to it in order to just zoop away <laughs> yeah it's not a bad way to get out of a really bad situation but it's just not worth doing all of that so you know yeah and on caster level and summoning ability well i don't got shit for summoning so Oh god, but every level of summoning is fucking great. Summons start with 10% more vitality, damage, physical armor, and magic armor. Jesus. 10% per level. Nothing has worked so far in combining with the bless. Hmm. Yeah, summoning seems like it could be powerful. Yeah, that, that just seems good to have. <laughs> Yeah. If nothing else, it gives us more uh, action economy. So, yeah. Well, maybe on another on another playthrough, uh, we can we can do summons. Because I I actually would not mind doing a second playthrough of this once we we finish it. Because we do. I want to see Fane's story. I want to see the Red Prince's story, Beast's mm -hmm. story, Ethan's. I I want to see all of them. Just because it sounds like it's going to be so long to do a playthrough, maybe we take yeah a break, you know, and then yeah, yeah. come back to it. A hundred percent. If they were there, would be a break. Don't don't you worry about that. No, we go straight into the next one. Round two. Straight <laughs> in. <laughs> The next one, yes, and the next one we can do mods. I could, I could do a swashbuckler class because that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. I'm going to the beach. See you there, losers. Bye. No. Bye. <laughs> Got to loot things before Izangi can. There's a seagull here. It is interesting that there's all this poison everywhere. That's right, there is a Geomancer skill that I still don't have. Impalement. I forgot about it. I also got a Geo... Was it a Geomancer skill? Um, uh, what was it? Hold on. Yeah, Geomancer skill. Trigger spores. Speak a phrase that causes all nearby contamination spores to explode, dealing damage and releasing a poisonous cloud. Ah, nice. I got that from, like, the first elf that we faced up against. Yeah, I remember that. I remember when you got that. Yeah. And I have not found any contamination spores that I could use it on. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's specifically to be used in tandem with the Summon Hungry Plant. 
because it can Probably. throw spores about. Um, I think that has more to do with the uh, armor set you get later. Maybe. Uh, here, here. Uh, uh, there's a dagger for you to identify that I just found thanks to Lucky Jar. Nice. Identify. 15 to 16 physical. Uh, Single-handed. Set atrophy for one turn. 10% chance to succeed. Um, requires 12 finesse and 0.8 meter range. It has an empty slot, so if we get into runes. Mm. I'll hand that over to Azangi for it, if that's helpful. This place smells. I am speaking to a shark that washed up on the beach. Shark? Where? Where the shark? Uh, to the west of you. Over here. Hi, shark. <laughs> Dying shark. Oh. Mm -hmm. Lies gasping on the sand, bleeding from the mouth and gills. Turns its dark and soulless eyes to you. Its bloody gills open in search of water, but finding only air. Offer to drag it back into the water. It gasps in the air, struggling for the breath to speak. Its own blood froths at its mouth. No, die here. <gasps> Monsters in the water. Monsters in the deep. Remark that by its blood-stained teeth in the sea, it should have little fear. Monsters. Offer to put it, it out of its misery. Its cold, flat eyes, as if to say, "Do what you will." Then it turns away and gets back to drowning in the bloody sunshine. <laughs> huh. I do not fancy the idea of something dying a slow death. How lovely. A leg. Mm. Eat? Consume? <laughs> <laughs> Lore. <laughs> Avoid it, swim. Your name is Joe. Oh no! You're brave. You're off to see your mum. A shadow moves below you. A jagged vice closes on your thigh <sighs> and pulls you down. Water fills your lungs. Blood. Yeah, that kind of happens when you swim in the ocean. A boy at swim. Your name is Joe. You're nine. You're brave. You're off to see your mum. Shadow moves below you. A jagged vice closes on your thigh and pulls you down. Water fills your lungs. Blood billows. I found a cart. I found a dead civilian. I found something terrifying. Um, coming up that way. Give me a second. Just, just don't, don't go over there. Just look at it. Um, it's a sorcerer that's uh, source bound right now. Mm -hmm. and there's a so, pile of source there as well. There is. So, do we bother helping? Yeah, let's go. Is that found a book? What happened here? Uh-oh. Volatile Ooh. Voidling. Does that one blow up? Uh, it's it's like fire. Me. It's fire. Ah, okay. It, yeah, it just means that it... No, actually, it is not. It is heavily damaged by fire. Hmm. Well, it'll probably explode if you hit it. Probably it'll explode when it dies. Um... Yeah, Zonky, poke it. Poke it hard. In the butt. It's not. What the fuck did I do? My attack go. Hmm. All hey, three nice. frozen. Nice. And I will save this action point for next turn. I think I can refreeze two of them next turn. Ah, Necrofire. Very fun. Start with you. 
I killed three of them. Nice. <laughs> uh, the big bug captured the woman and flew off. Uh, goodbye, big bug. Okay. Yeah, it explodes into cursed fire. Necrofire blocks by magic armor. Yeah. Um. Ooh, high quality fire essence and high quality shadow essence. Oh, nice. And a hazy ruby. Very nice. Very nice. Um, who's holding on to blood. crafting ingredients? I've been holding on to a lot, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of crafting, so... Ooh, a lot of dead chunks up this way. Yep. But there's also a person. So or should I go do the talking? Yeah, yeah, you go you go do the talking. I remember one just like Magister Caravan. Could have been a shipment to Fort Joy. What happened? Uh, found an unidentified shield. Sending that over to you. Mm -hmm. I'll kill you just like the rest of them. Dead silent monk. A leg. <laughs> She'd Avoid have to go further than that to get rid of you. <laughs> she flinches at the slightest rustle of wind through the long grass. Terror in her eyes. She stumbles away from you. Well. Oh. Um. Do we go after her or? Eh, I don't wanna. She chunked everywhere. Kind of disappeared. I think she despawned. So yeah, I I believe she despawned. There's, a, There's a locked chest. Yeah, and I I sent you a leg and a torso. Leg. You stride past the chain sorcerers and climb onto the caravan without complaint. As you settle onto the bench, you offer relics blessings to the Magister Guard. He offers only a bleary-eyed stare of disinterest in return before shoving the chain sorcerers aboard. As you watch them cower, you cannot help but feel annoyance. Annoyance. After all, don't they know they're going to be saved? Don't you know they're going to be saved? <laughs> Eloisa was the prettiest girl, not to others, but to you. Her luminous eyes shone brighter than the moon. The day you collared her for Fort Joy, you wept every tear you had. You never cried again. Wow. Elisa was the prettiest girl, not to others, but to you. Her luminous eyes shone brighter than the moon. The day you collared her for Fort Joy, you wept every tear you had. You never cried again. I don't feel sorry for you, bitch. Yeah. Like, oh, I love this person. I'm going to collar them and, <laughs> like... And send them off to this horrifying place like, where we know what returns. Yeah. Severed head. You twist your head around as the magisters haul you away. Your wife and two boys stand in the doorway, helpless. You commit their faces to memory one last time. Wendy cries out something to you. You tell yourself it was, I love you, or we'll wait Pimsh. for you. But the truth oh, is, you didn't catch it. The farm recedes from view behind you. Unfortunate. Yeah. I get healing from eating these? What? <laughs> yes, you, you get healed. Yeah. Huh. From the you get he you don't just get healing, you get healing over time over from the floorboards. Shadows ripple across the slivers, accompanied by heavy footsteps. Magister footsteps. Why does everyone keep throwing fish at me? <laughs> above your head. One of them has paused. Your Got like five different flavors of poisoned fish. Move along, but the hatch is suddenly yanked open. Light floods you, blinding and accusatory. You hear only one gruffly barked word before the hands seize you. Gotcha. Ooh, I got a skill from that. Ignition. I don't know if I should try eating this void pimsh. Set enemy, characters is around you. Set enemy characters around you on fire. Deals 15 to 16 fire damage to each. 
ignites all susceptible surfaces. Interesting. But I need pyrokinetic one. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm going to start separating out my Geomancer stuff from the rest because I'm getting... My, my hotbar is filling up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm eventually planning to do, like, healing stuff and then, like, here's battle stuff. Yeah. Yeah, don't take the void fish. They make you... They make poison blood. They make you sick. To give you decaying magical metal shield 88 physical 60 magic uh plus 10 percent earth resistance inflict poisoned on contact sounds like a really good shield for fox what do you think fox <laughs> god yes that, <laughs> excellent what what was that uh, is <laughs> He's apparently at full mast. <laughs> <laughs> Far away your shield sets. Hmm? Just... What was this? Mm. Not exactly. I saw I saw something that could potentially be useful. Hmm? Let's not go too far ahead. Not well, too far just yet. I was just taking a brief look around, you know. There's yeah, a yeah, chicken over chicken. here. Little Grimlet. Little Loretta. Little Tiff. <laughs> little Wing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, milk churns everywhere. Buck, ba buck. You can usually speak to animals. Huh. Eggy, eggy, gone, gone. Baby, eggy, gone for good. That, that, that. That one just says Bach, but then this one <laughs> can talk? What? Oh, hi, Big Marge. Ask Marge. I'm talking to her right now. Yeah. They were stolen. The babies, the eggs, ah. something, something took them. I'm collecting took them. <laughs> What does it Jar of it. Honey do? It scrambled away fast, fast, fast. Big, big as a cow, big as a house, and many, many legs. Too many. If, if, if I showed you, you could bring them back. You could, you, you could bring them back. Map, map, show me your map. How oh, lovely, Magisters. In a flurry of feathers, she leaps up and pecks a small hole in your map. And how does a chicken know how to read a map? <laughs> we don't ask these kinds of questions, Fox. Okay. You this simply one accept just it. Find eggs. Dip. I'm. Let me. Let me. As a child. Huh. I'm gonna go child. up these steps. Talk to the child, the zombie. Nope. Okay. Did you expect a needle? Cena, a uh, Ben Mezd. Ben Mezd. Ethan. Ethan Ben Mezd. Baron won't like that. Won't like that one little bit. The kid shoves his hands in his pockets and ambles off, resuming his tuneless whistling. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yep. Well, there's also some magisters I could try talking to, but I don't know. They might get angry. I mean, oh. so... They know where... <laughs> so, there is a thing to note. Uh, in this town, there is a special mechanic. Don't go near a source hand. 
Source hounds know that you're sorcerers, and so if they get a whiff of you, it initiates combat, and every magister in town will come down upon you. I don't see However, any source hounds over here, though. Yeah. However, the gates are a different story. The gates do not attract everybody else as long as they are separated, such as this one with a bridge. Uh, however, if there is still a source hound at the gate, you gotta be careful and find a different way out or fight your way through. Hmm. So we could fight these ones, or at the very least talk with them, and it wouldn't cause an issue then, correct? I I think that we're okay if we fight these ones. I'm gonna say. Sure. I do know that it is a very bad idea to kill all the magisters in town, because then the rest of the yeah. town will hate yeah. Right. Really? Okay. Right. Yes. This is you gotta remember that most of the world thinks the magisters are there to help them. Mm. Okay, I'm running up to them. Yep. Get yourself in check, boy. Well, Izanki has the persuasion, remember that. Oh true. <laughs> Rip. The older looking magister notices your present. He wipes his grubby hands downward across his greaves. Actually, I'm gonna go grind, up someplace instead, first. Smears more dirt onto them. Port Elf, what word do you bring? Bring word of death. The dunes are soaked in blood. With no word, you are simply passing through. Ask him what word he seeks. I might just say passing through. Uh... Either that or let him know about the caravan being attacked. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. His face goes pale and his eyes open wide. The magister that greeted you remains stiff, as if enduring a harsh wind. The void woken come. Hush, Fader. You may pass, traveler. Dare say you'll be aching to leave before long anyway. But before you do. Find Raymond, the White Magister. He'll want to know what you've seen. Oh yeah, yeah. He'll he'll definitely want to know from us. <laughs> Be quick, mind. He's set to sail any moment. He nods his head in the direction of the bridge, but offers no other instructions. Welcome okay. to Drift. You'll be safe. Uh, are you sure? Okay, so we're just walking through then. Yep, yep. We are clear to go into town. There shouldn't be it, there shouldn't be source hounds in town. I'll let you know that. Okay. Uh, they're mostly by gates, so like you can walk through town and be fine. Just don't fucking steal things, unless you have uh, unless you have cover. That's that's the really big thing. Ooh, skill books. Mm -hmm. Chicken claw skill book. Source orbs, haste. Oh yeah, here's Magister Raymond. He is level twelve. Where, where's Magister Raymond? Never forget it. This guy. Ah, over here. You too, Julian. Show him how it's done, man. Hey, uh, Izanki, you wanna you wanna talk to Magister Raymond? Oh, they uh, have a, give me a second. Yeah, okay. They have a shark strung up here. I'll go talk to a funny looking teller. Wouldn't you like to know? Ooh, chain lightning. Ooh. Wait, didn't I already get you that one? Um I'm alright, as long as I don't think about it too much. I don't uh oh, is that a source one? Yeah, I have the source one. Okay, then what I'm going to get you instead is Nether Swap and Pressure Swap. Sure. Sell some of this extra shit that I've got. I have so much food and fish. Fimch. Fimch. You do not get to make that decision. That decision is mine. A good day. Let's talk. Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? 
Your body swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken. To Seville, send to Seville. There you go. We do cruel things unto others and unto ourselves because we must. Right. We do cruel things unto we others and unto it. ourselves because right. we must. Ugh. See, I'd like to string you up too. Rack you with rods and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. In that case, you'd better think very carefully about the next words that I'm very good at what I do, see. I don't even need a sauce hound yelling ah. at my side. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth. That is to say, sauce. Best convince me I was mistaken. Okay. Am I best thing right now? Hmm. If you click, if you click the button in the bottom left corner of the window, you can find out where it says tab, or I guess the, it's I the bag. It. It's the yeah. bag icon with the inventory. Well, whatever the case, dickheads believing the bullshit I'm spewing at him. <laughs> he leans in closer and sniffs the air once more. Interesting. So I was mistaken. Must have been ambition I smelt on you, not the magic that dare not speak its name. Very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. No doubt a trustee of Dallas is champing at the bit to see some action. Uh. Seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day in a quiet town. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf troubled waters. Dwarf troubled do. waters. Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule? Ugh. A beast of birth? But some defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I need. Of a rat catcher. Ugh. Of course, I must depart post haste, but Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Ask and he will answer. He will but, answer. But, but I've my orders, same as you. Dallas. <laughs> Knocked down. Like I said, Julian is staying. Yeah, the thing and to understand about the White be, Magisters is that no they are the leaders the of the Magister mm -hmm. Order. How about we part shaking hands instead of stringing them up? Yeah. If the, uh, if the, um, the rank and file Magisters can be compared to the Nazis or the KKK, then the There's White Magisters are the, uh, Grand Wizards or the SS. He grins darkly. How very heartwarming. One last thing. The Magisters here are diligent men and women. A stranger like you may run into troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them without fail, I assure you. Adieu and good luck. So that the sounds Lord like we can avoid away. fights the with the gallows. Uh, we can avoid we can avoid some suspicion, not fights. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to stay down there to talk to that ass hat when he wakes up. Yep. Give me a second. Can I go back down? Left behind like a dog. Upon You'd that. swear the shark was smiling at you. You, the so-called friend of Dallas. I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in Magister affairs had better be worth it. Yes, I am very much aware. It wasn't my damned head that hit the floor back there. Now answer me. Did you meet with the Magister caravan on your way into town? 
The hour's growing late and I'm beginning to worry something. <sighs> By the bishop's bones, you saw it. Out with it, man. What happened? Boy woken. That means source was used. Which means some third party must have attacked first. And I've a fair idea who that might have been. Hmm. Raymond, that old goat. Always suspected there's more to the driftwood dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ship sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked and destroyed. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these. The, the Dwarvian. It's Dwarven. Yeah. There's a local thug, Loha. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs. To the west of Driftwood. Reaper's Bluffs. It's wild territory. Remote and hostile. Where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working in behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. I'm turning off my camera for a little bit. Uh, my eyes are pretty sore after my shower I had just before stream, so I will. Uh, I might turn it back on closer to the end of the stream, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, so I'm assuming we're just looking at like we're 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 learning about these things from him, but we're actually going to help them out. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. No, we we are absolutely not helping the magisters. Yeah. And don't worry about uh, Raymond. We will find him again. Uh, sent a ring for you to identify. Okay. Identify. Identify. Uh, eighteen magic armor, plus one scoundrel, plus one necromancer. That sounds right up his Zongi's alley. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, here's the ring of a Zongi. Kamore <laughs> Doran. Oh, wow. Plus two intelligence, plus one arrow the urge, plus one summoning, plus one dual wielding set sleep for a turn. 20% chance to succeed. And immune to sleeping, and it grants the skill vaporize. It's a wand. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too mm. much. Pretty powerful. Another swap. Make two characters switch places. One of the characters can be you. Interesting. Ooh, poison wave. Poison erupts from the caster in a circular wave, dealing 54 to 59 poison damage and forming poison clouds. Gives immunity to poison and earth damage for one turn. Reactive armor deal physical damage based on your current physical armor in a wave of metal spikes to everyone in the area, including yourself. That sounds more like it would be great for Fox, but it would take two points of Geomancer to use. Fire Whip. Long range attack that deals 90 to 99 fire damage to a single target, leaving them blind and burning. Flaming Tongues protects me and immediately attacks approaching enemies. Nice. Laser Ray. Line of intense heat that deals fire damage to characters and leaves fire clouds behind. Uh, let's see. Bullhorn, Chameleon Coat, Chicken Claw. Summon Oily Blob in the Polymorph skills. Fling an oil blob at target point, okay. dealing damage in the area. Oil blob deals earth damage with melee attacks and leaves an oil puddle on death. It flinches. A low, threatening growl <laughs> I'm even, now even more persuasive. Hey, hey, Fox, you know how you can grow wings? How would you feel about growing spider legs out of your back? 
spider legs burst from your back. You can create web surfaces in an area to entangle foes, and walking on web surfaces will make you hasted rather than entangled, incompatible with wing. The dog goes to bite your hand. And then Terrain transmutation, target two circular areas, swap surfaces and okay, clouds. Cool, pretty cool. I don't have the money for any of this, but you know. <laughs> so I'm I'm talking with this dog here, helping it out because it's in it's been in pain. Uh basically the collar was like on inside out and like the studded collar was biting into its neck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, I was able to convince it to let me help it, and I turned it around. Um, so yeah. yeah. Um, what can I do to show my gratitude? Tell the dog that payment in gold is customary. Not that one. Yeah. No. A ask no. who put the collar on him. Right. Yeah. yeah. Master did. Master did. You see it among friends. Never ask uh, if the dog knows what that means. Yeah. Huh? Wait a minute, Master hurted me. Excuse me a minute, I'm gonna go now. But first, I have a thing I need to do. First, I have a thing I need to do. <laughs> to his master. You bad man, you. <laughs> you bad man, you. <laughs> now talk to the beggar whose dog ran away. Mentioned the dog spiked collar. Tell him he's cruel. Yeah. God damn it! That was my livelihood. Penny for a grieving beggar. I reckon I'm owed it here. Tell him get out of town, or tell him you'll tell the people what he did. <laughs> I'm owed that at least. No, dude, you're owed. <laughs> you're owed a sword in the gut. <laughs> Tell him that you'll tell the people what he did. I don't. Yeah. I don't know which one is the right one. Yeah. If if either of them could do. Yeah. Oh yes, you would do that, wouldn't you? I couldn't prevail upon you to change your mind, could I? Tell him you want all of his earnings, and he can be glad that's all you're asking. Like. Extorting him for money feels kind of bad in this moment, and it doesn't guarantee that he's going to leave. Yeah. But also, like, money. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, that's right. There's too many people for a zombie to, uh, to steal from this guy. What do y'all think? I vote for taking all of his earnings. Yeah. He gives you a cool look, then rummages in his pocket. He hands you the contents. Five, Five. coins. As your luck, go on then. He's a hobo. Get what lost, were you expecting? You I'm working here. You freeloader. I'm working here. You gave me stuff to sell. Okay, thank you, Fox. Mutton, need that. Then get out of the way, cheap skate. Ooh, Petty oh yeah. Dog, people. <sighs> that helps. I want to get flame tongues since that'll protect me, but definitely don't have enough money for that. Izangi, do you have money? Eh, a little. Uh, how much you got? Just that. Okay. How you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Rid of that pot. Rid of that cleaver. That'll work. Thank you, Fox. Then... Daisy Bolt. Oh, shoot. I accidentally double-clicked in <laughs> unbound spells. 
<laughs> um, oh shit, Zagi, you're holding on to more than a little bit. <laughs> I had a lot more earlier, but I bought some stuff. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fox. Would you like summon oily blob or spider legs? Spider it is. supplies. Aha! Necromancer skills, which we already got a load of them. <laughs> I could get Black Shroud at some point. I already um, have it. You got it, okay. Yeah. Uh, I let's... could lend you some of my barter gear. A lot of my stuff actually has... I have oh. plus three barter. Oh, yeah. Let me let me get that. Let me get that off of you. Uh, I'd need a coat, because I think... No, I'd need to throw you my shoes. Okay. My shoes and my necklace. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll give you the stuff back. It's fine. I know, I'm just saying, like, I can't walk around with bare foot, or else they'll know what I am. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, then don't don't worry about it. Nah. Well, I can at least throw you the necklace. For now. Uh, Alright, that, that works. I had a glisp. Set on real quick. Uh, Throw this healing elixir at you, and this fire resistance potion, this scroll, that, and give that to you for a discount. Crystal, I'm going to give you a great spell, okay? Okay. got to be really careful with it, because it could hurt a zombie. It is... Are you still on about that from last session? <laughs> No, no, actually, it, it can't. It can actually hurt a zombie. Oh, okay. uh, it's the healing ritual. Send a wave of healing to target another character. It then travels to nearby allies, healing with each move. Mm, okay, okay. And Fox, there's your spider legs. Okay, and the rest, I will wait until we, you know, have a chance to loot a lot more stuff first. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have more than enough gold to grab whatever the hell we want here. People have an immediate plus 15 to liking me because of my outfit. <laughs> well, I have three persuasion and so that gives me a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Random high quality water essence in this barrel. Nice. Hey, kids! Ben Buttons and Harriet. S spider legs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bishop Alexander was slain by Seekers. That's the Not what they expect to see staring at the water. We're waiting for our friend. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. Oh. You may want to oh. listen in on this one. Yeah. He went swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Happy. Fort Joy? That's what I said. Fort Joy. He's going to find his mom and bring her back. Ask if their friend's name was, is, Joe. Oh, how did you know that? Missus, have you seen our friend Joe? Uh, 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 Hi, Huey. Thank uh, you for the poop. Give the bull a hug. Uh, do I be the, the dick and just give it to them straight? Or this, this they're going to be your... waiting a long time for Joe if we don't tell them. This one is your choice, so... Fuck it. I'm gonna be the ass, I guess. Tell them the truth about Joe. They have to grow up sometime. The truth hurts, but they'll get over it. Alright, kids. Time you heard. So here's the thing. Joe was eaten by a shark. The horror grows on their little faces. No, that's a horrible thing to say. 
I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else's leg in that icky shark. She bursts into tears, then looks from you to her and back again, then starts crying too. Kneel and hug both children. Tell them it's going to be okay. After a moment, the crying subsides. Ben and Harriet snuggle into you. So where's Joe? Tell him Joe's gone. Somewhere lovely, a farm or something like that. <laughs> they look nice and warm in the belly of a shark. Seems to accept the mm -hmm. idea. I think we should go home. Come on, Ben. Thanks, lady. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mr. Lady Misses. <laughs> Mr. Lady Misses. <laughs> they skip away. Still children, but now somehow older than before. Wow, these are some great rewards. A water balloon, a fire arrow, or a poison wave scroll. I'll take the poison children. wave scroll. I know, <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so I have about like 10 poisoned fish. Okay, uh, I can sell those. Uh, they are all worth zero. <laughs> mm, fair. I could eat them, they poison me. Yeah. True. I will send them all over to you. <laughs> I think they're... Oh, they might be poisoned because there's the poison barrels, like, kind of leaking over to here. Oh, they're also void-tainted. That That's why. Uh... Um, the void-tainted ones are different. Oh, that's fair. That's what it's barking. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. I can smell it. Tell it you trust its instincts. You'll look into it. Now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. 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 You know, Molly, that it doesn't have a very feminine sounding voice. Eh. Doesn't have to. I don't have a very f feminine sounding voice. Well, I mean, the voice act. Oh. Might not have been. I don't know, I'm just. <laughs> this place there smells is funny. a hatch that we can get to underneath here, and it is locked. We need uh, we need somebody to unlock this. While the bony fingers, not, perhaps. Uh, while others are not looking, because it is bad. Ah. Can we distract, perhaps, while yeah, it's yeah, being unlocked? Yeah, the dog away from I'll, me. Yeah, and I'll talk to Presley over here. Uh, I, was about to say, yeah, I so went to the wrong place, apparently. Where are y'all at? Yet, the dog's still looking right we're, at me, so... We're in the fishery over here. Okay. Over there, okay. Door's open. Okay. Okay, do we hop down in? I'm gonna hop down in. Oh. Rip. I'll be down there in just a moment. Uh, no, I think it's... Sneaking successful. Okay, you gotta sneak to get down into the basement. I saw that. Okay, I'm down here. Okay, I'm down here too. Yeah, dog is being in the ass. Interesting place. I did find some stardust. Common ingredient in cosmetics, the enchanting gleam of this dust highlights even the plainest features Ooh, with okay. the luster of the stars. There's a lot of random crap in here. Shit. It is worth a lot of money? Oh yeah, Stardust, uh, keep that because that's useful for, uh, it, it's the, um, the, the thing of upgrading your equipment. Gotcha, gotcha. So do we go the long way around or do I pick the door? Oh, let's go the long way around. Oh, there looks like there are traps in there, so. Well, uh, you'll be the first one to go through there. I, I do have a trap disarming kit. I... One moment. Yeah, Sheet send of that paper. To... 
Well, it just depends on what kind of traps. Yeah, so let me give you that. Um, oh. I'm on fire. Or I was for a second, I yeah, thought. Yeah, probably step oh. away from where you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, see no, if you I can, can see if you can yeah just clear-minded see if you can find a way to turn that stuff off um sure yeah yeah um not no i mean it's on oh it's on okay. yeah no, i can't do anything at the second Thanks. fancy beer bottle expensive wine <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to go for it. Everything just keeps breaking. Now I'm over encumbered with crap. Oh no, the heavy metal crate can block it. That we're supposed to use that to get forward. Uh yeah. Ah! Boom. Uh let me just uh there was... put out the water. Or there put was out the oil. Water. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go oh. over here. I'm just making a run for it. Although, fucking Mora is going to just stand there getting hit. Okay, he came through. He's he's fine. Quackers! Oh, uh, evasive maneuvers! Holy, holy balls! The amount of paintings! Well, I mean, this is a smuggling hut. Yeah. Ah, marked barrel. Um, Break the seal and open the barrel. Uh, back away. Uh oh. Huh. All right then, it's poisoned. All righty then. Twenty-one tea herbs. Rope. I have a decent amount of weight left. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to start start looting. Take it all. Take on me. <laughs> Take me on. The fish wish it had been the one that got away. The fish wish it had been the one that got Ooh, away. Chicken claw scroll. Already have that one, Here. but. Oh, uh, Izangi, come down into the, the middle area real quick so I can put another clear eye on you. Uh, just a sec. Okay. The fish wish it had been the one that got away. Poisoned fish. Poisoned fish. There you go. What am I looking for? Lot. Well, just around. There's also a locked barrel right there. And it's leaking sores. Yep. Yeah, it is. There's another one over by Fox. Ooh. Marked barrel. Ooh. Soul forged blade. Soul forged crossbow. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh. Ah, oh, they're everywhere! <laughs> wow. I can deal with a lot of the ones down in that little area, but Izagi, you may want to start transferring some stuff to other people. Um. Jeez. Unfortunately, at the point, I grabbing the stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna do this down here. Ooh. Let's 
target out of line of sight. But I think if I go over here. Ah, oh, crap. And I. Wait, I thought I grabbed the source point. Path is interrupted. No! You blessed a water barrel earlier. It's not no, I meant. I thought I grabbed that one right. Oh, no. No, you didn't. Apparently, you didn't walk over the, uh, the puddle. What did I do? Weird. Use your supernatural acrobatics to touch them. <laughs> Okay. I might be able to get three of these frozen here. Yep, there we go. Hi. Very nice. I wanted to get more frozen, but uh, because of the arcingness of the other spell, that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I clean the, clean you out. the whole bar at the top is almost full. <laughs> did, you, did you see what the Voidling said? No. Said, I clean the gods away. I clean you out. Hmm. I've got three of these fuckers near me, so let's do this. Flaming tongues. Approaching hostiles will be blasted with fire damage. Well, here's hoping I can grab that source point and try out this new ability. Yeah, yeah. I am going to summon a slug. Hello, sir. Yeah, Fox, I'll, I'll focus on this one behind me, but I wanted to get these three frozen to help with, like, Ooh. the economy. Ooh, you want to see something fun? Look at the fire slug. Yay. Woo! Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Everything is burning. <laughs> it's cursed fire, too. Oh, because it's the Voidling, yeah. Rip. The source right. is there. You may have to move the barrel or destroy it, if since it's empty now. Mark's barrel, empty. There you go. Yeah, no, it's still not laying me. Huh. Rip. It is probably just going to be difficult to get onto because it's so small. Nice. Physical armor plus 184. For every dead body near me. Jeez. Ooh. Ah. That's crazy. Increase physical armor by 46 armor and another 46 for every corpse within the area around you. Nice. So it has a flatline amount, but then like additional per body. Yeah. yeah. So the pimp is the tank now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fox, we need you to get in there. Get in there and kill shit. There's two up here by Fox and the one by me. We definitely, yeah. And there's three up here with me. Yep, and that just exploded. Come play with me, Sapil. Come die with me. Let it be done, Losa. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> These assholes just keep exploding everywhere. <laughs> this, Take this hurts. maneuvers, quackers. They, they took away all of my armor, every bit of it. Rip. <laughs> and I um, am sitting in necrofire. Unfortunately, I can't do much to help you right now. <laughs> um. I wish we'd kept the blood rain spell, because that that would put out necrofire. I mean, I need a hydrosophus thing, and I could. Yeah, so I, don't I... Have it memorized. So. Oh, you do have it memorized. Okay, then. No, I don't have it memorized at the moment. Oh. Although I could. But you can't. Okay, but you like you learned the spell. Yes, I have it. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, mm -hmm. if we get you a point of hydrosophus, or just like with your the level up that you just got, take yeah, a I point in hydrosophus. Yeah. Hmm. 
And then just save Blood Rain for the moments that we get Cursed Fire. Two. Set status shocked. And then touch. What? No, that was the wrong. I, I clicked the shock, shocking touch spell. Ugh. Rip. Uh, let's see. I'm still just burning. Nope. Now, now there's necrofire. Okay. Rip. Uh, use this scroll on myself. Nope. I'm decaying. Ow. God damn it. Rip. Uh, I can get rid of decaying if you come towards me. No, I I can get rid of. Uh, actually, no, I cannot get rid of Decaying because I don't have a source point. It's all right. I got rid of it. It's fine. Got rid of it. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, fortify. Someone oh, making Adele character so she can set fire to the ring. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, I love you, Huey. <laughs> How do I recommend putting space between you and Dim Crystal? Yeah. Agreed. Probably, but you know, it's five for now. <laughs> Oh. Bone Scooter! I, yeah. That's a thing. The Bone Widow's good. Why did it use it on the Voidling but say that you used it on the Bone Widow? No idea. Whatever. You know, the Bone Widow is really good. It's, uh, it is, it can be a powerful summon. Hmm. Spin. <laughs> I know I fight. Ow. Am I being flanked technically? <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, yeah, I see that. That is just fucking unsettling. What? My bone widow. <laughs> it's just a bunch of skulls. Like, I, I don't know what the issue is here. <laughs> it's kneecaps are skulls. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, as a bone widow does, you know? Exactly. <laughs> I do like that it's also using, like, a horse skull or two in the back. Yeah. Uh, there's two wolf skulls, a deer skull, I think. Boom. There's just necrofire everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't put it out with my thing just yet because I can't do things mid-combat. Uh, get out of the fire, get out of the fire. I'm not moving Rest. from this point. It's going to be easier on me if I do that. The bone spider walking. Okay. Right. Immediately rest. Woo! Uh, All right, and then. Source. Gotcha. Yay! <laughs> oh, it works for you. <laughs> Excellent. These volatile There's... ones are very useful. They always have a uh, fire something. Yeah, yeah. They, they're they highly weak to fire, but they're extremely explosive. I have five high-quality fire essence now. <laughs> Same. 
Oh, the one exploded. And Fox, of course I survived. I I, I have all the healing abilities. <laughs> security if... log. Most important area of focus this month is cellar security. Number 02756, barrels have arrived. Number 02757, placement of divine 2000 turret barrels complete. Don't stare into the barrel. In... Turret Sorry, barrel. I... Yeah, I, I know I interrupted you. Don't Sorry touch. about that. Nah, all good. Um, yeah, just remember to level up. Oh yeah, level up. Thank and you for that calling that thing, out. Yeah, this is a thing that you got. Um, <laughs> yeah, Q is like I am also. Q is like I am also weak to hot people. Oh, so you're weak to crystal. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a second. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> You're also weak to Fox. And me. <laughs> uh, I have most of my skills equipped, actually. I love just the sheer amount of, of salt and sand that's just here waiting to be sorted. That'd be That's why I die so often whenever I play games with Kanuna. My skills are deep up. <laughs> I'm just that good. I uh, I weaken everyone that plays with me because I'm just so good. <laughs> and since no one uses two-handed weapons, this thing is pretty much useless. Mm-hmm. Oh, holy shit, that was a medium thunder room. Ooh. Oh. Um. Combine with... Uh, no, give me my fucking wand back. Thank you. So I just thought of this. How are we supposed to get out of here without angry people? Fine. Good question. Don't worry about it. It's fine. How do I go oh, manage rooms? There we go. By the way, if you're wanting to reshuffle your spells, you don't have to click the unlock hotbar. If you open up your memorized skills list, you can just move the skills around at that time as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a huge deal, just like a little thing I noticed. No, oh, I'm gonna go straight up. Yeah, you're good. They don't care. They don't care cool. Like leaving. So we're Rather poetic so description of the common salamander, it, and it's impressive, at least to the uninitiated, void, wo void woken cousin. Interesting. Yeah, I saw that painting too, Fox. <laughs> oh, there's something over here. They can still see us through the walls. Are you kidding? Nick didn't see me. I mean, the dogs might be able to smell you, but... Oh, there's there's another couple of lockers that are that are over there too. Do they care if we go in this door? Uh, as long as the door is not marked red, you should be fine. Okay. Quit sneaking about, would you? Uh, I need to finish leveling up. Um... Oh, summons start with 10% more. Interesting, okay. Yes, yes. Traitor Ovis, accept my offering! Thank you.
Ooh. Retribution. Reflects received damage to your attacker. Nice. That's... Like, instead of leveling up skills, you could just put points into that. Oh, yeah. Retribution is really good. Yeah, that, that might be pretty good for, like, since I seem to always be targeted by, like, the Bozeman. Yeah. Just a Could way a to, very like, good, whittle them down. Very good defense. Yeah, very good defensive thing. Yeah, and I think I'm pretty good at, like, my skills and stuff. Like, I have seven Aeroturge and seven Hydrosophus. Like, I feel pretty good with those right now. Yeah. And I should continue dumping all of my points into Lore Master? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep going with that, because that it, it's still going to be needed. Uh, it might not be as needed for items, which it, it still will be, but it might not be as needed. But the higher lore, the more information you can give us about the enemies. About the enemies, okay. About the sea and then the enemies. <laughs> I live in an anemone. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, the fucking Druden, eh? I forgot that we got a bunch the of that. Figure is a Your touch create... Okay. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. Oh. There's some people just lounging in the woods over here. Blessings of the divine upon you, my lady. My <clears throat> husband and I oh. just sitting down for a picnic under the sun. We haven't much to offer, but would you Fire whip, us? laser rave, poison wave, earthquake, impalement. Uh, let's see. Sent a chess piece over to you, uh, Crystal, to identify. Sure, I'm in the middle of a conversation with this couple over here. Yeah, yeah. Once, whenever you can. Yeah. Wonderful. Come, sit, sit. This dude has nothing to buy except a ring with plus one necromancer and 3,000 gold. <laughs> ring and gold. <laughs> there you go, all cozy. So tell me. Are you heading to Arks like we are? Nicholas and I wouldn't miss Lucian's day for the world. Arks. Uh, it, I don't I don't know the lore of this world, so like what is Arks? A R X. Arks? Oh, it's a city. City, yeah. Arks I mean, is Arks is a city that, from what I understand, we will be visiting in the future. Gotcha. Nicholas and I wouldn't meet uh, miss Lucian's day for the world, is what they're saying. Um, and just because my memory is a little bit foggy about it, like, Lucian is overall a good character, but he had some, a couple of bad things that he did or so, something like that. So, Lucian was the divine. He, he was the former divine, wielding gotcha. the power of the seven gods. It yep. was his job to save the world or to, like, keep the Void Woken at, the, at bay, mm -hmm. as well as uh, when the Black Ring, the Unholy, uh, rose up, he fought against them. That was his job. Yeah. Uh, overall, he was a good person. However, it seems that towards the end, he started doing a lot more extreme stuff. Yeah. Such, such as creating the Death Fall. Mm, and then use that on the elves and all that. Use used it on the yeah. elven homeland. Yep. And so he was good at like the start, but then he was he was good for a few thousand years, and then he created the death fog, and then died within his own creation. Yeah. So it's like the the thing we were talking about earlier, where like uh, winning by like any means necessary, right? Uh. Uh, Fox, I got you two more warfare skills. Uh, crippling blow. And blitz attack. So, so 
You jump from one target to another, hitting up to two targets, dealing damage each, and they are chosen randomly in a 10 meter range. There you go. Like the prophecy says. So come, let us break bread and strengthen ourselves for the journey. Oh, you already have crippling? Okay, then send it back to me. ahead of us in the holy city of Arx. You eat, drink, and have a good time of it with Glory and her husband, Nicholas. After the meal, I'll give that back. Your thanks and take your leave. Yes. Greetings! May the seven circle you and keep you safe. Oh, yeah. Anything oh, that day, has been, like, kept within my fucking bags. And with good reason, too. Oh, for isn't it wonderful to look upon so simple and... Why, only a few days ago, I was writhing in pain, having eaten from that rotten fish they dare sell on the market. But then a fellow pilgrim passed by, laid his hands upon my feverish skin, and just like that, I was cured. Truly, it was a miracle. Interesting. Crafting material is chock full. Fellow Quest pilgrim items. Has Laszlo's broken loot, Irma's doll. We never did find Irma. I have no idea where the hell she was supposed to be. That was the one quest that we didn't succeed over on uh, Fort Joy, was where the hell Irma was. Rip. Oh well. Yeah. Fellow pilgrim passed by, laid his hands upon my fever skin, and just like that, I was cured. Truly, it was a miracle. Express interest. Who was this miracle worker? Wait, she is with the source dogs in the dungeon? No, Irma was a child. No, 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 not 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 the dog. Uh, so Irma is the um, so there's the lady that's wandering around calling for her child, uh, and that's who Irma was. Alas, I cannot say who he was, but I can say what he was. A holy man, a stranger showing kindness to strangers, exemplifying the Nothing teachings of the divine. The... Hmm. Okay, it fills good. my heart with gladness to know that there are still Pack? folks like him to Wait. be found. Oh, it packed my bedroll in there. Okay. Fallen. Huh. May the seven keep him. <clears throat> May they keep all of us. Hello, Elizabeth. You can't go in there, Mrs. The Meister isn't home, and the Magister's locked her house up for her. Ooh, I found the Meister's house. Oh, nice. I'll be over there in a minute. Yeah, this little girl, Elizabeth, is saying, You can't go in there, Mrs. The Meister isn't home, and the Magister's locked, up her, uh, locked her house up for her. They were very angry about it. They, they was very angry about, about it. <laughs> <laughs> A big one. She's my friend. She was one of the magisters once. She, she was, was a magister once. Up. She used to look for god people and help them. But then she stopped that and just stayed in the house all the time. She used to play with me, but then the magisters took her away, they did. They took her outside the village. Okay, the magisters took her outside the village. I'm not allowed the village she looks around okay i'm headed up to where you are crystal hmm i'm headed up to where you are gotcha yeah i'm i'm uh talking with um the character here yeah 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 might want to talk to the bulls we'll keep that in mind From over the stream, I can hear the master. From over the stream. <laughs> I can hear her crying. Oh. She gives you a look of the darkest meaning. Then she takes a deep breath, puts on a happy smile, turns, and skips away. <laughs> okay. Uh, lock pickable. Okay, the bulls. Looking for the bulls. Bulls are over here. Ah, yes. Uh. 
Oh yeah, identify chest plate. 53 physical, 11 magic, plus one hydrosophist, plus one necromancer. Requires strength 12. Well, what was it? Uh, 53 physical, 11 magic, plus one hydrosophist, plus one necromancer. Requires 12 strength. Ah. So that's, that's an item box, definitely. Yeah. Another one. More queer folk than commoners in Driftwood these days. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Just look at you. Never saw an ugly mark like that on a pretty face like yours. I bet you ain't the fella that put it there. The elders anyway, actually got a decent voice. Just down the road. Can't miss it. <laughs> Cause that's where all the queer ones go. <laughs> Clacking dwarves, dozy lizards. I even saw him drag a void woken down there in the dead of night. <laughs> I even saw them drag a void woken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't know what's going on in that tavern, but it must be a freak show in there. Okay. <laughs> the the bulls <laughs> are. Interesting. Huey, are, you, are you saying you have a delicious future ahead of you? Because I could use a good T-bone steak right now. <laughs> How can a beast enjoy this when he's no notion of what his future holds? Hmm. I do hope I'm back with my wagon soon. Okay. Um, in any case... Oh, the Four Sisters is here. From the Seekers. Or is this a different of the Four Seekers? Or Four Sisters? So, uh... It is... It is uh, 11 o'clock, pretty much, mm -hmm, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the question good. is, there's, there's, a, there's a few places that, that we could go to. Um, there's uh, the next time, of course. Uh, there is a Magister building up here. There is the tavern over here. Mm -hmm. There's another building further along. Uh, and there is still a quest uh, that we can do here in the uh, Fisher place. Gotcha, um, yeah. So, the question is, next time we play, where do we want to start? Well, the, the tavern... bulls were telling us about the tavern. It's where the all the tavern... queers go. It's where the queers go. <laughs> I do actually like that the way that they're using it is the original definition of queer, which is just strange. They're like, there's mighty queer folk around here. It's like very strange people around. I... But yeah, I, I do like the, the 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 silly meaning that can be had from that. There's a lot of queer people in that bar. <laughs> yeah, that <We> can... <laughs> sounds like a great place for us. <laughs> and then just no, like, uh, describing here's some dwarf and <laughs> yeah, but uh, there, the tavern definitely sounds like it has the most in it. I, yeah, I will I will not give anything away. So I will just let you choose where would you like to go next. The next time we play. So, probably working methodically down, like, as much as I want to go to the tavern, I think working methodically down the row is probably the best thing to do. Okay. So, starting with the Magisters is what I would vote for. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Just so we don't accidentally miss anything, you know? Yeah. That sounds fine. How are you holding up? But the locked house by the stream that is transit. I think we need to get the key to that. Yeah. We could have Izangi pick the lock, but uh, I don't know if the little girl is over there keeping an eye on it. But, uh... Yeah, next time we can we can check out the locked house, see if Izangi can pick the lock. Yeah, maybe we just talk to the girl and have her look the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, let me save the game here. 
Had great fun today. Yeah. Welcome to Act 2. Act 2? Yeah, here in Driftwood and this... If you check the map and zoom out, there is a lot. There's, there's a lot here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, this place is like twice as big as the island that we were just on. And this is just Act 2. <laughs> yeah. From, from what I have heard, there are five total acts to this game. So be ready for the long haul. <laughs> I like how certain areas glitched out and just have like a little bit of visible area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's right. like, oh, we can slowly walk around or... <laughs> yeah, or we can just go over there. <laughs> yeah. Then I will be ending off my stream here. Yeah, Thank same. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I just realized that this whole time the reactive image was like slightly off to the side. So Fox has been just like half peeking into the stream this entire time. <laughs> just, hello. <laughs> Fox is just over there like, hey. <laughs> Which sounds like Fox, you know, it's, it's <laughs> pretty much the pretty much the MO there. I will be I will be ending off. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in, and thank you uh, to you three for playing. This has been a lot of fun. Of course. Uh, I will say, Fox. Uh, once we're done here, if you would like uh, to to do a little bit of a little bit more Blast Hero of Nostalgia, so we can go and uh, uh, remember some of the items that we still have to remember, grind up some of the gear that we need, uh, just stuff like that. But either way, I will be turning off my stream. Yeah. So hope everybody had a good one, and I will see you all another time. Bye. Yeah, it was great. Bye. Yeah, and with that, I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. I stream uh, four times a week, three to four times a week, uh, and uh, I also do a Super Auto Pets uh, challenge every week. Uh, really enjoying everything that I'm doing right now, but yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow for some Barrow Trauma, and yeah, have a nice evening, everyone. Bye-bye. So, have you heard any news?